This is Q Talk America. The following broadcast contains adult humor, language, and topics, along with partial nudity. Actual knowledge is used sparingly. The show is a result of a lost bet and a bad game of rock, paper, scissors. It's the show with Clayton McKee. And now, a man with a face for radio, Clayton McKee. Well, good evening, everybody. 7 o'clock. It's uh, the show. It's Studio C. We're coming to you live as we do each and every mon- Monday. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that night. <laughs> Not that night. Like that night, too. We do it on Tuesdays, 7 to 10, coming to you live from Studio C. I'm not sure where the hell I got that from. All of a sudden, I'm the Freudian slip into Monday. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense either. But anyway, it's us. We're here. Thank you for being with us. Somebody is listening in the Philippines right now. Hello. Two people actually are listening in the Philippines. Hello to you, the United States, and all the ships at sea, as it were. So many, many, many things to do. This is uh, show number 159 for those of you keeping score at home. That means we are four shows away from our 100th installment of this little dog and pony show wow. so i have a question now does does 100 episodes get you in line for syndication is that what the, that the usually yes. is that the magic yes, number yeah. okay so hopefully we can go onward and upward from here we're not sure <laughs> uh in studio with me marnie ryer al perkins katie june may show up she had some hrc things to do she's usually here on mondays <laughs> yeah <laughs> which is funny <laughs> I wondered who that woman was walking around my house. It's weird. We, it's very odd. Very, yeah. pe- very peculiar. We don't. <laughs> I don't know. Fantastic, the Monday. Oh yes, good times, great oldies. Well, <laughs> hi one and all. It seems like I just saw you on Sunday evening. It feels like it's been mere moments it's, of it, it, awakeness. Yes. 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 <laughs> Have you slept since then? Have either one of you slept since then? I did. I, oh, I slept quite well. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> okay. You make this sound like you did something extra special. I don't know what that means. No, I, uh, I, I, after you all left and the, the last guest was escorted <laughs> firmly to the door. Um, yeah, I had to leave. I had to yeah, go. But you were not escorted firmly to the no, door. No, I was not. Um, I, I, I was yeah. going to come back. I didn't want him there by himself. <laughs> and uh, by him, I mean him. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. And, uh, but after that, I laid down. I clean, I, like, there was barely anything to clean up. Oh. I think I maybe put away a dishwasher full of stuff and then okay. went to bed and slept till 2 p.m. yesterday. Nice. Oh my god. And that it was, nice. I that was all I could do. I I got up, I laid on the couch, I watched some stuff and then I couldn't stay awake for some other stuff, so I thought <laughs> oh, I'm going to go back to bed. Good. Wow. There's nothing wrong with that at when all. When it rains it pours with sleep with you cuz I know sometimes yeah. you'll go <clears throat> years and not sleep and then not Well, s- well Saturday I got I slept a little bit. I got up Renee was in town for like a hot second, so I saw him. I got the house half clean. Oh, yeah, and Renee's then, in town and I, remember, I miss it. Yeah, it's in, it's like you get 90 minutes with him. Yeah. And uh and then Sunday was get up, get things ready and then bam we were into it and then bam everybody went home and Bam, so bam, was, bam. Yeah, so finally by the time bam, Monday bam, hit, bam. I, was, I, was, I was tired. Well, I guess. Yeah. Well, and all that host. But in a very yeah. clean house, you know, a very yeah. clean home. And yes. Good. Yeah, I went. It, uh, was, it was a good, t- it was a good time. Thank you for the for yeah. the invite and the hospitality. And yeah, what, a, did, what did I say when I left lovely. there? Thank you for the hospitality and the intrusion <laughs> yeah. or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was very good. It was very good. It was, a, it was just a, a nice time. And Erin said that she was just very sad that she had to leave. She was planning. She's like, I probably was going to leave at 7. Just because of her normal routine, uh, like oh, yeah. routine, and she was there until almost eight. Yeah, and she said, "I really did not want to leave, but she just knew." Well, like, and she—I mean, she was enjoying the food and the drink. Yeah. So, and I brought the rest of her bottle of wine oh, here, so oh. it to take to oh, her, or I'll drink sweet. it. Like, yeah, well, whichever works. Exactly. Right. Hello, hello, Harrison and Tyler, Hi, both guys. in the chat room. Hi. If you are listening and would like to, please do join us in the chat room. You can go to our website, qtalkamerica.com. There is a chat button. There's a listen live button. It even says we're currently on the air. So all these things could potentially get you to the chat room and inter- interacting with us somehow. I don't know. It's all good. Marnie, payroll's over. No, no. it's never over. No. I don't even know why I ask. Tonight, well, close. Yeah? Close. Yeah. It's by tomorrow morning, Okay. that'll be done. And then you'll be on your way to another... Payroll. So, another payroll, right. <laughs> Let's the, turn right around and start it again. The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, no, it's um, it, it's good. It's good. I have a, a, a good a good assistant helper, so she's been doing a great job. Oh, oh that's very nice yeah. to hear. It's good so, to have an assistant. It is. So uh, that has been... Uh, you know how it is with systems and people calling you and what's oh, this and what's yes, that. Oh, yes, I do. And people keep coming up with really great ideas for making it easier. And nobody does it? It's a shit show. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it's not that no one does it. It's that it doesn't work. hmm You know? And so whatever they've come up with and written 
Fantastic, because the asshat who wrote it, he's sitting there <laughs> with like a bottle of champagne and just enjoying himself, and he knows how to run it. Mm -hmm. And every time, kind of like you take your car to the mechanic, yeah. every time you take it there, runs like a beauty, just a gem. Yeah, that noise never may happens never at the dealership. Never happens. Right. And then you drive it away, you're like, son of a bitch, I'm taking it back. Yeah. Same thing with this, you know, you roll out the system and all of a sudden people are calling. This is not working. You call him, it's working just fine. I don't know what they're doing. Well, yeah. that was helpful. Yeah. Good. No. I'm going to call them now and say that. Don't yeah. know. Don't, yeah. Get your time entered or you're not going to get paid. They like that. Yeah. <laughs> they, like they like that. that. So exactly. it's, yeah, it's quite enjoyable. It's quite sure. enjoyable. But uh, Sunday was just a, a lovely reprieve from all of that. So thank you. <clears throat> well, you're, I'm glad it was a, it was a great thank a great you. reprieve for me too from so the has, hustle um, bustle. So has the, the one participant in the evening, um, <laughs> how do you, I don't know how to say this. Do you this really lightly. call that a participant? How, has he come down yet? <laughs> don't, can't say, don't know. <laughs> On the good ship chocolate bar. God damn, I was like. <laughs> I, you know what, I, I, I have to say there were other forces at work there. There had to have been. Yeah. I mean, for real. Well, no, I, I already know that that he is, he's one of those people that's just like, he's already out there. Because right. for, oh, the, yeah, yeah. for the whole oh, 20 years I've known him. Real eccentric. Yeah. And, so, yeah. but you add a little, a little oil to the, to the candle. And I, <laughs> I, I would like to say that there aren't many people that can handle prolonged champagne adventures. Sure. Sure. And I feel that that threw him under the bus more than anything else. I was thinking like sugar on top of sugar on top, top of, of sugar, sugar on top of sugar. And, and yeah, absolutely. It, it turned into something that like. I've never seen that before. I gotta tell you, you're one of the more patient people that I have truly ever met. You. He really, yes. really is. Because it wasn't just the Oscars. It was through the movie Gravity <laughs> that I kind of thought, huh, well, Al's the most patient person I have yeah. ever met. I'm, I'm, I am God surprised there wasn't a, 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 a... Wait, you watched a movie after? Yes, we did. Oh, and I didn't I know about this. We learned something new about my TV. Well, I knew it was 3D, but there was no proof of it because I'd never done it. And then with a little finagling that it turns out wasn't necessary, Marnie was our techno-savvy lifesaver, figured out how to put together the 3D glasses, how to get them turned on, and how to sync them with the TV. And um, I had made an oh. adjustment that didn't need to be made, but we ended up watching it. Perfect. And I have to tell you, as long as you're going to see it oh. somewhere on a beautiful giant 3d tv that movie held up beautifully oh, no. fantastic wow and and it i didn't was lose a lot in the did translation you do, were you doing this kind of thing when oh my god there were, yeah uh -oh. and it was just and she had never seen it <laughs> doug had not seen it in 3d and i was skeptical because i just didn't feel that my tv was big enough to gonna do it justice gravity. oh it did oh and it did like she had didn't take a breath for it because it's 90 minutes of holding your breath okay. it really and and i sat there i'm like is anyone else <laughs> losing she oxygen was, <laughs> she was so stressed out I was. and doug was like constantly like wow wow yeah wow he was like i just watched this day before yesterday and this is not the same movie it, and and it like there was one there were many points but one point in particular where I honestly thought that I was gonna get knocked in the head with a bolt from the cruise ship as but were as it were <laughs> cruise ship and, but I mean just like and I ducked <laughs> no that's what I seriously and I went oh and then I just and that's sat what, there and it's one thing to be in a giant yeah. movie theater where the screen yeah. is like I can't imagine three stories high. But we were just sitting there looking at my living room TV, mm -hmm. and like she was like, ah, ah. <laughs> "Well, I kept wanting to grab like here, use and, this." And then I it took it took time <laughs> it to notice great. like the sunrise coming oh, over the beautiful. over the horizon, just the beautiful way that the light was done in 3D, mm -hmm. and they would would switch to her perspective mm -hmm. from inside the glass, and you had the 3D of her reflection oh. of her face. And the tear, in like, the glass, the, and the, the, yeah, the, her reflection in the tear, <laughs> like, it was... Just well-deserved seven Oscar wins on that one. Just oh. gorgeous, gorgeous movie. Yeah. And and I, I became a four-year-old right when it... I'm like, okay, call Clayton, tell Clayton that I was able to do it. Like, because I get all excited about that kind of stuff. Because we had nothing. I yeah. mean, those glasses were not 3D glasses. Like, they, they have a battery. You've got to sync them up to the TV. Shake your leg three times, howl at the moon. Hey, <laughs> pull these fossy, things fossy, off. Fossy, fossy, fossy jazz hands. <laughs> but you got it. But you got it done. And it you was. It was very yeah, and then fun. after they left, I put it back to. I put the everything back together the way it should go, okay. and f fix the glasses. And so with my real sound system, I was able to like watch it still. And, That's great. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then some of those. That that score came through. Yeah. Oh. I can believe it. I could have won. I could have won. I could have been a winner. Could have been a winner. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what Al's frustrated about, <laughs> oh, our cut! They, they, they every single year yeah. tie with Doug Wilkie and the Oscars. It's fantastic. Every though. single year we tie. <laughs> That's shocking. Yeah, it's really not. 
No, it, it isn't. But it was just funny that I was the one that explained why the score was so good and then looked down and realized I didn't pick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Curses. Yeah. It. Well, it's all right. Well, it's over for another year. So now so now what we've got is a week or two of post, and then we'll start all over, and he'll be talking about next year. Right. Exactly, oh, so, exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. and I, I hope that, not that... Well, can not, is coming up. Not compared to the, the shows that were up there, but... The what um, I think it was Doug and I were talking about the fact that <clears throat> the butler came out so long ago. I mean, oh, that yeah. was so last there year. Was, right? There right. wasn't a Best Picture nominee released after September. Okay. I mean, released before September. Yeah. So they went complete amnesia. Usually yeah. they pick something out of the summer or something from the early, yeah. some little surprise, nothing. Well, he had he made the comment. He's like, do you really think that, you know, just as, as Doug would, like just kind of a rhetorical, but you know, do you really think that people have that short of an attention span? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And the fact I mean, that, for real. I mean, those nine great movies came yeah. out. And that I always late. say, like, what, Toronto Film Festival on. But if you well, don't because, believe me this year, yeah. that's where 12 Years a Slave came from. It's where American Beauty comes from. Like, and you were all about, I mean, do you remember how adamant he was about Oprah's performance? Oh, absolutely. And, just I did, yeah. and you didn't hear her name. You did at the Golden Globes for, like, a second. Yeah. Because it was like, well, I'll mention her. Well, no, but I mean, but it. just great categories. Like, yeah. all this, like, all the snubs. There was just so many great, there wasn't, there wasn't one... Oh, Jesus, that one in yeah. there. I was even yeah. surprised, though, because I honestly had kind of forgotten about it. But when and I forgot what it was for makeup or something like that, because in that category, oh, Lone Ranger, Lone Ranger, I was like, because sure. though I got a kick out of it and mom and I watched it. But again, it was pretty much pan and it was <laughs> in and out and gone and nobody thought much about it. So I did. I was even surprised it was brought up at all for any nomination. Yeah. And sure. that makeup category was really some people cracked out because there was a lot of makeup movie makeup that didn't get. Right. Acknowledged, and then the Lone Ranger. I was like, unless there was some. I mean, I didn't see it, but unless there was something in it besides Tonto's makeup, I'm not sure what makeup effects. Right, that was the only thing you got was was Johnny Depp, which I'll just yeah. enjoy watching Johnny Depp do about yeah, anything. Yeah, it was a very very strange category this year, mm. like very strange. Oh. Kind of like the other year when uh, the Iron Lady won. You just made one person look like Margaret Thatcher, like. But really, there's yeah. people like that, Margaret Thatcher. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's <laughs> there's people that are doing lot. like makeup for like hundreds of extras and stuff like that, and right. creating new sure. things. You just put a false teeth and a wig on her, like. <laughs> right. How'd you win an Oscar? Pretty much, she still yeah. looks like. So obviously, Rose the the makeup the makeup category is going in a, a, a new and different way. Who knew? Mm -hmm. That's That's what, as time goes by, yeah, we'll, no, more it, and more. Well, you know, we'll learn we'll more learn. and more. Sure. That's right. That's right. First, the I, actor has to lose 40 pounds, and then I'll do his makeup. <laughs> right. 40 pounds. <laughs> and go. Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, now, I mean, we all see who won and what happened. I, I'm assuming at some point during the next year, I might see one or two of those films. And, I, I well, just, I own Gravity now, so please feel free to come over and well, enjoy the shit out of that, because yeah. we did. Oh, well, well, we got oh, a 90-minute bang of... I mean, that that really was worth every penny I paid Only for if it. I get to do the glasses. I just oh, can't... Yeah. I can't say that I wasn't worn the fuck out after that movie. From the, sitting there and just... Where you're like... And, and I was real glad mom wasn't there. Okay. I was real glad because my mom can watch a commercial, like just on TV, and a dog will jump out of somewhere and she'll be like, ah! you know, and like, but it's loud and it's just, you jump because she's now jumped. Okay. Yeah. We would have been in hell. I mean, <clears throat> truly. Oh, yeah. She just, the, the, the reaction. From from mom would have been hysterical. And so it's that's just, it's that just yeah, that movie was 91 minutes. You would have had a heart, heart attack. I may have. Like that movie had to end at 90 <laughs> minutes for the comfort and safety of those around you. It really did. It, I have those... not held my breath for that long in in a suspenseful kind of movie. I just haven't. Yeah. And so I really. Maybe it's because I don't up. see a lot of movies. When I, I, I remember mom and I, when we saw Argo. Yeah. I I was just losing my mind because I get the goddamn plane off, off the, the ground. ground. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Right. Yeah, that. that's, that's Imagine that one. for 90 minutes. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, wow. Because <laughs> I, I agree with you. I felt the same way. I was like, for God's sake, why aren't you going? Go, yeah. go. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, same there, there, there is definitely that feeling of like, take the plane off, take the plane off. You feel like Rain Man. <laughs> get it off the ground. Just get yeah. it off the ground. Go, get it off go, the ground. Go, go, go. Forget the Four seatbelts. Take off, take off. Yeah. Come on, go. And then, of course, in the movie, you know, the plane gets off the ground. Everybody's like, ah, and then we're like, oh, wait. Then they're holding, you know, because they had to get on international yeah, airspace. Right. And like, that's oh, right. shit. Land air missile. Land air missile. It's coming. It's next. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Go faster. I don't know. I know. Oh, that that, that was on, uh, that was been on HBO On Demand. And I've, mm -hmm. I've watched that a couple times. And that movie Good holds movie. up beautifully. Like, yeah. that really does. Well, 
Well yeah. played. Um, yeah. He wasn't Interesting. there, was he? Who? At the Oscars. No, no, Jennifer Garner came along. Uh -huh. I thought that was odd. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what he's up. Well, he might be training for Batman, Superman, whoever. Um, but now one of the things that I thought uh, this whole this whole time with mo movie magic was I was under the impression that, and I guess with 37 days it still could have been, that they filmed, like Matthew McConaughey lost all the weight he was going mm. to. They filmed those scenes and then they took like a short break for him to like eat a couple sandwiches <laughs> because he's in, and that could be what the makeup Oscar was all about because there mm. were like three different levels to his like emaciation. He was okay. really oh, But then to find out that they filmed yeah. it in 36 days, which is one of the reasons that everyone was making such a big deal about, like, what a tight movie it is, is that they filmed it fast, fast, sure. fast. That was all filmed on the fly. A 36-day um, shoot time is very short. They made it on no money. but So I was just, I'm like, there's really not time for him to, I mean, he could maybe put on a couple pounds, but that is the makeup. So you no, have yeah. to wonder which of the three weights that he was in in the movie was he really at and the rest was done with makeup tricks because mm, when sure. um you know that's when, sure. you, when you say done or made the movie on no money tell me what you mean <laughs> well they had no they had no distributor so they made that off like independent financing i mean they'll make it they have a few million dollars i think that total budget ended up around 12 million if i'm not mistaken but then you have other movies that are like oh 100 billion dollars right, 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 right. Right, right no no right. i understand yeah. so i just was curious when you said make for no money i didn't know well compared to like the lone ranger which was made for 190 million like that's a crazy wow. amount of money sure. so 12 million is what matthew mcconaughey makes to be in a stupid bongo playing rom-com you know what i mean <laughs> right. like that's just his salary usually right. let alone everything catering drivers you know right. uh, there's a lot of extras in that movie too there's sure. quite a few there is a little bit of crowd scenes for mm. the membership, but it, it's so just it was interesting to read that 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 was one of the things that that I guess people responded to was knowing it was made quickly on a shoestring budget and came away mm. the you know the second biggest Oscar winner of the night like that and Twelve Years a Slave both got three sure, sure. so and when did you say that you thought it was a lock for Twelve Years a Slave it was when Re uh, really never I never honestly... I thought at the end you or was oh, it when, that you said Gravity doesn't no really... when it when it got Best Adapted Screenplay then we knew okay. then we knew the show was over okay that then it was there was really no choice and you know what I mean everybody had their set categories there had to be some kind of momentum going sure. towards Best Picture sure you okay. know Argo you saw it in different things Screenplay stuff like that yeah. but this was this was a nail biter to the end and Entertainment Weekly had picked had picked uh, Gravity okay. And they were still standing I, but by. I'm it. going to tell you that Gravity was really, really quite good. Yeah. I don't see it as the best picture. Right. I, re I mean, and I haven't seen the other one. But it's just from, it's just from just, the aspect of like none of that existed until this uh, movie. Uh, you bet. And all of those technical awards right. make complete sense. Right, to and me. that's probably why it went the other yeah. way. Because the the movie itself, I left there really trying to chew on that. Like, okay. Is that a best picture? And it was very good. Right. Does it have the gravity? Does the it gravitas, have a... if you exactly. will. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that I mean, was. It's, 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 it's a fair, fair point. I thought when you, the, the meat of, again, having not seen it, but 12 Years a Slave. Right. Compared to that simplicity. Right. But when, and then gravity. when you see American Hustle, it seems very light, very fun. Sure. But honestly, like, and, and Buddy, Buddy said it, I've, I've heard it from a couple different people, 20 years from now. It'll be like how we watch Cabaret and The Sting and all American those movies. Hustle. Like you're going to be watching American okay. Hustle, like still marveling sure. at everybody in that. So movie. So that'll be on like TBS over and over and over. <laughs> right, right, right. It'll, right, be, right. it'll yeah. be the Shawshank Redemption sure. of this of this year. You <laughs> right. know, absolutely. But, or to, to be brought to the to like the Wizard of Oz that's done every November. Right, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think be. it'll make it into that pantheon. But I mean, honestly, yeah. the. Uh, like, I would appreciate the, if you'd not use words quite like Pantheon <laughs> during, during the show. I don't think we're ready for that. Should we, do you want me to Google that? Well, I don't you? know. I'm, I'm a little concerned. P-A-N-T-H-E-O-N, I think, is the correct spelling so, that, for that. That sounds correct, yeah. My gosh. Yeah, so I mean, so there it was. But mm. I think like that Shawshank Redemption one, no one saw coming. Like I saw it at the theater. I've loved that book since I was a little kid. Mm. I think I read it when I was maybe 12 years old. Um, Rita Hayworth and the mm. Shawshank Redemption. I saw it and I thought, well, they did a very nice job with with that um, short story and turning it into a movie. Yeah. And then it got nominated for Oscars, and then it became like every male heterosexual's favorite movie of sure. all time. And sure. then it became like a cable staple. And I'm like, are we all talking about <laughs> the same short the same story? One. Like, one. yeah, that I read when I was you know in the sixth grade. Sure. 
craziness. So what else? I mean, what else besides you know the most important day of the year? What else have you done? Well, this it week? was the high holy day. Yeah, the high holy uh-huh. day. Well, yeah, for, for I know yeah. that is for you absolutely. Uh-huh. Well, Monday was my uh, the installation. I'm we are now Edge Studios is in the Phoenix Theater with three terminals oh. going into four because right, they're looking at doing adding another one. And so just doing that for work. And of course, my Monday was get up, do that, train them a little bit, go to Apollo's and do my Monday night sure. thing, which has been How's that going? it's been packed. Good. It has been packed. I'm astounded. I don't know if I'm just doing my my Facebook marketing right on that or if just, I don't know, that's what they figured out. Well, that's the best place to watch it. So Drag Race has kind of been fun. And it's, oh, it fun. really is, even though it's you can watch it at home and I get all that, sometimes things are just more fun if you yeah. sit in a crowd oh, and, yeah, and, and just lo- listen to all the chatty comments and everything go on. Sure. So that is that has been kind of entertaining. But it's a, it's a good night. It's been very, very busy for that, which I'm happy. And then... Tonight is this. Tomorrow is uh, it, it just goes on because I have my installation for Charlie's coming up, and I'm sure I'm doing something else that I have agreed to do. Kind of like Katie, she can't say no to things. So <laughs> actually, I have started saying no to things. Like because actually somebody asked me why I uh, oh, oh, oh was the uh, sexiest bartender contest. Mm-hmm. I asked to it. not host it this year, and they're like, why? I'm like, look. <laughs> I, I'm spread already pretty thin. Nobody needs to see me anymore on a stage that I'm already on it. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So, <clears throat> la- was it last year when that happened? The the sexiest bartender contest that it became a real shit show. Well, e- a- every year kind of winds I know, up being every that year, way. But but last year was it last year the people were jumping on the stage? A person? I don't. Oh no, that was two years ago. Okay. Because <laughs> last year. Yeah. She didn't come at all, oh, okay. and I thanked okay. I thanked the staff and management of that bar <laughs> for not letting her be there. Fair enough. Because <laughs> Heather showed up. I meant that wasted. I was trying to be Heather a little bit Heather showed up a delicate. little drunk and then was crawling, <laughs> belly crawling across the stage to get at me yeah. to tip me dollars, and then had to actually be removed from the premise. <laughs> it became it became a little much for no, her. That was <laughs> that was two years you know. ago. Um, by the way, oh, one of the things that, and I'm, and you've got to be ecstatic about this. Harrison's um, talking in the chat room. Now, don't Tyler. say that I'm ecstatic. Well, 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 I don't know. The Harrison's car died. I'm not sure. <laughs> the the 22 year old one almost 181 thousand miles on a what it was a Miata. Miata. Now my question is, what are you doing with the Miata? Because um, because he wants it. <laughs> he can turn it Let's into a vacuum just cleaner. Be plain, exactly. You know, you can make it's that about a the size cleaner. of a lawnmower, so yeah. you're good. <laughs> can I haul a vacuum? That's in? a good point. You can turn it into a vacuum. Well, I'm wondering, who's going to take this car on a trade in? Huh? Well, somebody. Well, there's always those places that will. Well, I don't know if this is dead. Usually, it, you have to be. Able, it has to drive of its own power to the front because door. I don't know what dead really means, Harrison. I, oh no, this car's dead. <laughs> but I don't know what that means. Did, did the transmission completely go? Did the engine completely fail? I don't know what dead means to them. Oh no, this 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 car has been though it's been slowly dying for a long time. <laughs> but it's been held together by uh, like bubble gum and string for. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna say five six years. Oh wow. Oh, oh yeah, it's been, it's been it's been crashed a few times. Oh. Even as recently as like right after she graduated. Good she Lord. got rear-ended again. So. It is time oh, no. to move on. To, but Mazda's, hey, my mom drives one, and though over the years, she's had work done here and there. Just, oh, I thought your mom's was a Saturn. It looks like a Saturn. No, it's a, no, Mazda, it's a Mazda, Mazda 626. Oh, yeah, they, they look exactly like yeah, the, yeah. Uh, they, the yeah, you're right. Saturn 300s. Mm-hmm. Very another car that's gone. <laughs> Saturns. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, they're still around. They just don't make any more of them. Kind of like the car I drive. Yeah, I wonder why that is. What Saturns? Because well, they, those were like a. I thought that those were a good car. It was just part of the bankruptcy. They were. They the Saturn went with Pontiac as part of the GM. Okay. Oh well, that and okay. Hummer and Saab. They they got rid of all those. Yeah, they had they Oldsmobile. Had a, they had a streamlined down. Oldsmobile okay. left a few years. Oh, actually, years Oldsmobile prior. right. Yeah. Wait, it was gone earlier. And yeah. it, seriously, if my mom hadn't been dead already, that would have killed her. <laughs> the '98. She really? was. She like lived and died in an Oldsmobile. Because <laughs> <There> was... <laughs> my my first my first car. Was not supposed to be for me. Like they, okay. they didn't want to raise that kind of child, but everyone knew it was going to be my car. Okay. And so we went around to look at cars, and we were like hooked on this this cute little Pontiac number. And I, th- I thought we were going to sign the papers. Like we had all been in it and liked it, like the colors and everything. And it, as we were like walking back to like where you sit and sign stuff, my mom says to the guy, she's like, "Well, I think I'm going to go look at Oldsmobiles tomorrow before we make a decision." Looked at him like you just lost a sale. <laughs> Because she has never walked onto an Oldsmobile lot and left without a car. So. Okay. 
<laughs> Let me tell you how that deal just went south. Yeah, yeah. Unless you can move to an Oldsmobile dealership exactly. now. Unless you have one coming on the lot. <laughs> then so you're screwed. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> this woman has never walked away from an Oldsmobile dealership. <laughs> and I did. I got the beautiful Calais Supreme that was only made for a couple years. Yeah. It was the first oh, that's year true. The model. The original Missy Elmobile. She was cute. Fantastic. She was a cute little nice. car. Not It was part of the not your father's Oldsmobile. Okay. Yeah. Although okay. technically it was because he paid for it. <laughs> now, the funny thing about, and I, you've probably heard this story, Marty. The funny thing, and if I'm not mistaken, we're talking about the same car. The, that, no, that was the Forenza. That was the Forenza. Oh, the Forenza. Because it took me a while to get out of the, the Oldsmobile trap, too. Okay. Because I bought an Oldsmobile Forenza. I knew him in a cursory way. At just He was around. But I was already bonding well with Wilk. So okay. when I lived in the apartments here, and this is such stimulating radio for those of you who don't when, live. When, what year right? did you move here? Uh, I moved I moved here in 93, but I moved into the apartments behind Five and Diner in 94. So I, oh, lived, okay. I lived with Quentin Rinker. Mm -hmm. So that, and I, that's where I had the, remember I used to, have, used to have the answering machine that had different tapes for different nights so people uh -huh. would know where I was? <laughs> yeah, so that was when I used to hang out at BS on Wednesdays, and it was Wilkie and I sitting around drinking and just ripping everybody, which sure. is what we did. Yeah. Well, he had this white car, and he always had problems with, like, the hood latch and this thing and that thing. Well, I didn't know. He just had this car. Right. And I didn't know Al really that well. Come to find out, it was Al's whole car. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Forenza lived live long and, and reign freely or whatever you want to say. Cause <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that, that, I had that car for four years, and then he had it. I sold it to him in 92, so... Okay. If you got your pause, I don't. He had it for a long time. Yeah, I don't well, know. I was ninety four, ninety five was the area that era that I was around the car. Yeah, and I just got rid of it because it didn't have a CD player. Like there was nothing. <laughs> It's absolutely no, there was no it is, wrong but that. that's but remember he's the one who bought the green car yeah. that was a uh, was a manual, couldn't drive a manual, but it had a CD player in it. <laughs> I love that green car CD player. That's all there, I need. Um, uh, there was one thing, and I we can we can hold it up perhaps for people to see, or I can send it to you. But I thought that that was cute because you always talk about that Cumberbatch guy. Oh yeah, and the with the selfies that were done at right. the Oscars, all of those, and then the photo bombs. Because one of my favorite things about the photobomb, I don't know if you guys have paid attention to this or seen this yet, but the the, the selfie that Ellen took, right? The, the we're going to kill Twitter right. kind of thing. Um, one of the faces in there you should absolutely not recognize. You should be like, look at it and go, oh, there's Bradley Cooper and there's... And Isn't there, it Lupita's da, da, da. brother? It is. Yeah. And it is hysterical to me. Lupita Nyong'o's brother comes out of nowhere and blocks Leonardo DiCaprio. Totally. Like dove in there and <laughs> and he is prominently in oh, the picture. Yeah, he is because he's right next to <laughs> hang on. Yeah, right there. Yep. Prominently. Yeah, and Leon Leonardo is right next to um Angelina, Angelina? Jolie. Gotcha. Isn't that funny? Because yeah, they there because from the aerial shot he was in it and then when you see the picture. <laughs> but there's a big thing that Bradley Cooper now owns this because whoever takes the picture oh. owns it, not oh. whoever's camera it is. I guess this is a thing. Well, I don't I fucking didn't know. know. I wonder that. if that was why Ellen was so animate about holding on to that phone. Remember? Oh, she was sure. like, no, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I wonder if that's why. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't realize know. that. But, but now, because they said that it would be his, and I guess tweeting Twitters that get reposted, eventually it makes money somehow. Oh, I don't know. I have oh, no wow. idea. So they were saying Shit. something about like the cash. Whatever cash comes from this goes to oh, Bradley Cooper. Well, no. The, so I don't know if that's like YouTube. Because I like, thought oh. I shot you a link in regards to that, um, how it's making money because Samsung is actually donating a dollar per tweet. So now they're at $3 million. And yeah. They're donating it to a charity. And I forgot which St. one. St. Jude's oh, Children's I Charity. Okay. And I want to say the ASPCA of America. Good. Okay, got it. So which I thought that was cool. I don't cool. think you need to see of America if you say the ASPCA, right? It's kind of like American saying an ATM machine? machine. It's an ATM. Yeah. But yeah. I... <laughs> But I, I just You're think right. that the yes, I, I think the American is the, the first. The Department of Redundancy Department. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So true. We should have one of those. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. The Department of Redundancy Department. Uh, but I just thought that that was very fun. And he, he's an odd-looking guy. That isn't Cumberbatch he? guy, yeah, he I, really is. I yeah, think. he is. But a big giant sex symbol in. Um, For who? Who? Yeah, right. Uh, he plays Sherlock in a series that. Um, no one thought it was going to go anywhere. It's a giant hit in yeah, uh, on the BBC and now into America. And couldn't he figure is that out for the life of me. Big old fucking sex symbol. Like he Cut. helped yeah. sell Star Trek into darkness. Couldn't pour, couldn't his... prove it by me at all. I know. It. No, no, I, no. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, everything is taste, people. Right. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But I just thought that was very fun with the the pictures. And when he was on there, they they asked him. They're like, you became part of that. 
picture. And he's like, I didn't figure I'd ever get the chance again, so why yeah, not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. When am I going to be yeah. sitting in a room with... Uh... Well, then it was funny because you could tell he almost kind of went, I kind of just said my sister will never get an Oscar again. I mean, or it'll be a long time, he says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? But it was just real Or cute. when are you going to have a chance to photobomb with Julia Roberts right. and Meryl Streep, which was the whole right. point, which right. made oh, me God. laugh because... The picture of Meryl Streep probably would have gotten retweeted oh, a lot. Oh, absolutely. But to have every Kevin Spacey and to have all of those people was just Tyler, very fun. Tyler, you're funny. Tyler says, what did you think What did you think of Adele Dazeem? <laughs> <laughs> I really thought we were witnessing a medical emergency. I, I never, thought he had a stroke. I honestly never got over that feeling because he played up the wick, the really wicked. Like he got all yes, the yes, he did. You're right. He got all the notes and like the way to the say it and, and sell it, jump. and then to be like, a blah, blah, yeah. blah. I, <laughs> I like, smell toast. Yeah, <laughs> Adele does. It, I smell toast. Well, I was said. like, can we have someone <laughs> check on him? <laughs> Because I think those I hair, think plugs hair plugs were may too have tight. gone too deep. The, uh, there was something on, and you That's may actually great. have it in your entertainment section, um, in regards to oh, he, funny. on Tuesday, uh, just today, his, yeah. his people released a statement. Oh, and it was kind of funny saying. Never that, said that he did anything wrong or did it bad or whatever. Just kind of like. No, he said he was beating himself up over oh, it. No, then no. he asked it, himself. Get over it. I'm sorry, get over it. Let yeah. it go. Let he it said, go, what yeah. would Adina say? And she would say, let it go, let, let it, it go. That's true, I'm sorry. I did. So that, that made me That's laugh. Cat. And they said it was a very light response for what was a very light moment. Because I can't remember somebody in the, when they were announcing the the best, I want to say best actor, when they did one of them, they butchered someone's name. Oh, didn't, that. didn't Ellen do something with Kate Hudson? I mean, I, I think. No I think, idea. I think. Like that she said something weird about I know I didn't. I'll have to look it up. But it was something where yeah, like even her name was kind of but that was so that was yeah prominent. And, and it was he so looked so tragic, tragic anyway. Yeah, that it God. just was not his moment. Nothing about that. The and the, it was difficult because you know, we and Tyler I know as as far as being younger, but the idea <laughs> no, but just watching Greece and why you know Saturday Night Fever and and he was this and now all these fucking people are sixty like and not time... just that but my God what was it what happened and how did Goldie Hawn and and John Travolta end up at the same plastic surgeon I don't know well Goldie Goldie's been freshened up a lot there's and there's not but she seems like she got stretched this way but there she's been something... making jokes about it since First Wives she Club has. and you, now you realize that First Wives me. Club is yeah. God it's filmed it's filmed nineteen years ago wow. wow. Yeah, okay. I mean, if that, yeah. Well, and then I was even surprised. But Bette Midler is what do we say, sixty nine? Yeah, they're all the same. She, Diane yeah. Keaton, and that's insane. Yeah. Her, Diane Keaton, and um, Goldie Hawn, Bette Midler, and Diane Keaton are all the same age because they all turned fifty while they were shooting First Wives Club. Oh, gotcha. So they're all at some point this winter going to be sixty nine. That's crazy because um, you know the, the 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 thing with it with music and movies and all. If you don't really follow somebody, you don't think about it. They're the same age that they were. Like, if you fell in love with somebody in 1990 and that was all you focused on was yeah. the career of somebody in that era, they never age from that because to you, they're still that. Right here. So then when you see them, like, oh my God, they aged. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and, and you all forget of a sudden, that. Oh, yeah. You're right. Like, you're Beaches right. is 25 years old. I know. Wow. That 20, is actually 26. 20, it came out going, in 88. It did go, come out in 88. You're in absolutely 88. Right, I mean, yeah. like, we're talking like long, long time ago, and she was not playing a spring chicken. There either. No. Yeah, that's no. crazy. And when she was, uh, there were people that were mocking, and it made me laugh because obviously they've not ever watched Bette Midler or seen Bette Midler live with the, this, you know, how she does the oh, yeah. the arm movement. Um, and people were like, is she break dancing? Is she this? Is she that? They were kind <laughs> of mocking that, but that's so her. Oh, yeah, and it's right out of the video. She did it. Exactly. They taught her that choreography for that video, and she's you never bet. changed That's it true. since. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what also is funny, and we're, we've all seen this as we are of an older generation and the younger generation. Well, well, like the one who was like, what do you mean, Whitney Houston sings? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, they only saw her in a movie, or they only, or they only heard her sing, and she, she was in a movie? No, no, they only, the, that party that you're talking about, the person only knew her from the, the re reality TV show. Oh, the They movie. had no idea there was a movie or... Oh, oh right. gotcha. Yeah, oh they God. just thought it was a tragic, like, people, like Duck Dynasty, <laughs> like people we found on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a black couple in a big house, go. Go, like, right, right. 
That's how far, but that's that's what showed up at my house in that's 2008. That's what's so crazy to me. When you, in the year of our Lord, 2008. But, <laughs> but that, that happens yeah. to other people. I mean, if you don't yeah. realize that yeah. that Bette Midler has been in countless movies. Absolutely. And, ha- and her career goes way back. And if Stella only, was one she never should have done. Well, so just for every, anyone out there. What is? Stella. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bad. I just think it's interesting when you don't know if somebody had yeah. a, a different career or has many careers going at the same oh, time and, like and you we, only know I, them from one way. I don't remember when we commented on it that Cher was a has-been oh, no, right. before <laughs> all of us were born. You did. You right. said her that on Sunday. Her That's career right. had already peaked and plummeted. And right. it wasn't until you said like 1963 is, yeah, was I, I got, got you, babe. babe. And I never put that together. Isn't that crazy to think it's that long because ago? Because I used to watch the Sunny and Show 50 uh, years uh, ago. Yeah. 50, 50 and fucking show. years ago. Yeah. It's a hit from 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah. When we were listening to stuff, when but we were watching so Happy were, Days, right. that'd be the equivalent of talking about something from the 20s. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. funny. It's fucked up. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy to think yeah. about. Yeah. But I didn't realize that I was, wa- truly, never paid attention to the fact that I was watching repeats. Of? Of Sunny I mean, and Cher. The Sunny and No, that like, was the, current. That, no. that was current. current. Yeah. No, they were I lying. thought that's what you were saying on Sunday. That's no, why no, I got they so had their, confused. They had their first hit records. Yeah. I Got You, Babe. In the early in 60s. The 63, right. And then they crashed and burned and they were nobodies. She tried to have a film career. Right, right, and right. And played chastity mm-hmm. in something. Okay. And then they got a TV show called the Sonny and Cher show based on their weird stage act. Oh, and so okay. they had so yet another was... career. And then they got divorced and she had yeah. another career as just, just the Cher. Cher show. Yep. Okay. That's where my mind was kind of then even she more went blown disco. on Sunday. Because yeah. I thought, holy shit. No, then she went <laughs> disco right. and had a whole nother career. And then all of a sudden she was in movies Silkwood. and she won an Oscar. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. Does nothing keep this woman down? <laughs> right. But uh, Tyler asked about no. Pink. So oh, that was... You have that. Do you have that in your... Entertainment? Or no, we'll just we we'll just cover that right now. Oh. That was just the best. Brilliant. There were three shows. Real. I didn't yeah. realize this. There was the Sunny and Share Comedy Hour. See, say that 70, five times fast. S- I kept Sunny trying. and Share Comedy Hour. Yeah, seventy one August of seventy one to May of seventy four. Then they bowed out for a while. Then the Sunny and Share Show came back seventy six seventy seven. Drop that share. And then just share. Then just oh, share. Okay. But I think the second one, they were already divorced. I think when they I think came you're back, right. Because I think they got divorced in like 74 or 75, I th- and I should not know that much about share. I think. <laughs> Whatever. Like you weird. have a button. <laughs> you have a button. That says ask me that about share. Ask, ask me about share. <laughs> ask me questions about share. Yeah. <laughs> but I really thought that the Pink performance That's at the great. Oscars was one of the best that I, I have seen fantastic. in years and That's years of I agree. singing live. Like, and if you could listen to it without David there... It was even better. Different. Yeah, even different, right? Because yeah. you were there. I, I cannot believe your composure. That's all. Because I really thought you're. You're like now we're going to listen to it again. Yeah. Without commentary. <laughs> well, he just started like like what what made you think this moment was good for random talking? Like, well, what about this moment? It any wasn't. moment because it's moment. the Oscars at your house. Yeah. I was yeah. from the moment we started. I was. I was just not happy from the moment we started. Well, I was expecting it to get witty. So I kept yeah, wanting to like just too. maybe just rein it in and we'll find the groove and what we'll, now. No. Are you kidding? No. I was like crawling like I was in Born on the Fourth of July, like you know, crawling, crawling across, across like, because I know you don't get in front of the TV and you're not <laughs> supposed to like unless you ask permission, move. <laughs> <laughs> so and Aaron had needed cold medicine no more. But I just remembered that dun, last dun, year, dun, dun, dun. though it was just a different setting up last yeah. year. I just remembered it being a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> I was trying to picture well, Buddy early involved this year because last year he kind of wanted to kill someone, and there, then but oh yeah, this year I can't. There were a couple times that I I literally almost got up, and I'm like, yeah. no, I'm gonna ride this out yeah. because yeah. I'd rather spend time with you guys than yeah. than just a. Take all my toys and go home. I know, yeah. right? But I was really, and I mentioned that to Aaron. I said, I'm surprised that Clayton. <laughs> well, I left very you quickly. Really, yeah, you did. And then, Mar- no. then uh, Martinez t- texts me when yeah. it's all over. And he goes, did you leave? I'm like, oh, yeah. I had to go. He goes, I wanted to stay. He goes, but I just couldn't. Not with that. Yeah. Yeah. He was and the funny thing is, I thought those two together would be fun. Yeah. But Martinez was sober. That yeah. was why. Yeah. yeah. And I was just drunk enough to not quite remember. Like, I know Mark was there, but yeah. I just. There was like too, a minute. There was oh, too much. Minute. Oh, it's yeah. because he got there just as they were yeah. getting to the big category. So he was. No, he was after. Mm-hmm. He no, was he way got, after. No, he got there before Best um, Actress. 
He did? Yeah, because he saw he watched actor, actress, and picture with us. Oh, that's right. The last three. That's the true. Last three. That is the last three oh, he watched. Sorry, he Mark, was surprised. He was, was su- right after. he was surprised by how far behind. But he we was. Were. So, but he was so quiet. Yeah, you really. Realize. That's true. <laughs> <Compared to that. laughs> well, now, but the, as far as for what um, Tyler was asking with Pink's performance, I mean, the dress, the dr- everything about it was spectacular. Yeah. The clips were perfect. Her rendition was beautifully, beautifully done. The mm-hmm. um, the the folks that did the the background. Was I mean when she was crying and there's no place like home there's and she's singing <gasps> forget it yeah it was, it, it, it was very nice really mm. nicely done and it really shows what I think everybody knows I don't think this is a surprise to anybody that bitch talented she really is like Pink and that has got raspy, it going on just that like, that yeah. rasp in her voice that that ca- that it caught a couple times, times yeah. like <gasps> she had just the right yeah it, it, of truly 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 right match of singer and song that she understood mm. what she was selling. It's a right. lullaby. Sing it simply. Right. You know Thank what I mean? It's something you would sing to a child. Like it's it's a very simple, lovely. I hate when people scream it. I can't I stand when Sam Harris and Patty Patty Lapone get at that. But, I want them to shut the well, fuck no, up. Clayton you mean Patty play- LaBelle or Patty LaBelle? Oh. I cannot stand <laughs> Patty LaBelle singing that live. That's why when so, uh, somebody down. said something about Patty LaBelle I doing love, that on I love Saturday, and right, and I don't I don't mind them at all. I love what Pink did. Yeah. Oh no, no, I yeah. totally agree. But I'm yeah. with you. I like those. I like the bit. I mean, when Sam Harris did yeah, it on uh, on uh, Star Search in '84, I loved that. Yeah. Nobody oh, knew he was he's a, he's a hottie. But when uh, Doug looked up and said something about Patty Lapone doing it, and Al said, "I know," and and I went, "He can't stand Patty Lapone. He right. always says that." And I didn't even go with it. But, but it's Patty Lapone. Because yeah. yeah. I thought, well, I don't oh, know. it's that screeching. Yeah. That's it's yeah. a lullaby. The so the beginning verse is something that a lot of people are talking about. I didn't know that there was one. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, and I, as a matter of fact, I'm not sure. Um, and the egot for the night. Uh, the egot for the night went to Robert Lopez, who wrote yeah. "Fuck You God" as a song. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, Hasadiga Eva Y. You just had so much fun with that. It, re- it really funny. was. Um, oh, for, I can't remember what we were you just talking about. <laughs> I think getting ginkgo biloba for you. Pink. Yeah, <laughs> the, the first verse. The first oh, verse. Oh, the first yes. verse. And oh, Harrison no, may remember it because um, we were staying somewhere where I was playing music off my iPod, and I was like, I finally found someone singing the the verse to Over the Rainbow because it's very rare. I don't even have Judy Garland doing it. Okay. Um, it's very rare to find, and there's there may be versions of Judy Garland actually singing the oh, verse. Oh, I don't know. But I it's have... very very rare, and it's usually people that are playing tribute to Harold uh, Arlen or something. Actually, I now that you say that, I may I own it. There was a uh, there's a CD a double CD thing that I got from her, and it was from back in the day when she had the when the Judy Garland show back in, was it the early 60s, 61? Oh, they would have never let her sing the verse on that. So, somewhere in there, I want to say that they're on that CD, and it may not be from that show, show yeah. somewhere on that, I think it does have that. I'll, I'll have to look. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, mm-hmm. So much more to talk about. We have a lot of things coming up. We're going to do, uh, I think we're going to do so what was what is well, that exciting? Is that exciting noise? <laughs> Had that turned down. Well, my bad. I'm like wow, no. are we on well, safari? Sure thought I, did. <laughs> I feel like an no, elephant that, just walked no. across the jungle. <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> no, that was a uh, the 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 sound that was closest to. The, it's from um, Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. <laughs> Wow. I got and, Robin Hood out of yeah, that, and I'm Robin, a little afraid. Charades, I am too. We should play charades. Charades is fun on the radio. <laughs> but you can't see it, so it works out very well. I don't anyway, know. Anyway, it was the closest to a princess, so that's what I gave her. The end. Mm. Oh, I gotcha. Like yeah. brave. The little maid Marion. Yeah, like I assigned the dog barking to Matt because he has dogs. <laughs> So well, there it, you go. There you have it. Yeah. yeah. But I know when he's calling. That's a good point. I actually had to go through or my phone. Or you're being attacked. I, well, no. I mean, but the cats freak out when he calls. The, <laughs> <laughs> um, the, uh, I, I went through my phone and assigned ringtones to like all clients have a certain text and ringtone. Okay. People like. Oh, that's smart. Edge. People have a certain text and ringtone. Right. Certain people who. They have, because otherwise, I don't know if I can ignore the call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does make it easier. Yeah, it makes. So, like, if right. the phone's across the room and I hear a regular tone, I can wait. Sure. But if it's a client call, I might want to pay attention because I might have a, yeah. a, a complete system down. And if you down. look down and go, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, I'm good. I can't imagine answering that. <laughs> yes. All right, 743. It's uh, Q Talk America, and we are going to do headlines now with Marnie and me. We'll figure it out. I just need three from you, Marty. Oh, you Lord. We can, okay. It works it out. Headlines on a Tuesday with Marnie and Al and me, and well, we'll see what happens. Well, a man drops his pants to a judge and gets jail time. 
a DUI. I'm trying to drive it off. <laughs> Woman offers sex and $1,000 for a murder. Talk about bold turkey. Drunk man takes a plane on a joyride. <laughs> And a woman calls 911 because she hadn't been penetrated in years. <laughs> and we're not the only ones noticing that Florida has a lot of wackiness. <laughs> These stories and a whole bunch more. And probably we'll talk about the Oscars again, too. Yeah, maybe. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who Unusual. knows? <laughs> well, I do love it that we are not the only people paying attention to all of the wackiness coming out of the Sunshine State <laughs> known as the Florida. Um, it, they have a disproportionate amount of weird news and originates in that state. So hardly a day goes by without hearing of some crazy tale about, say, a woman who uses 911 to make a booty call or an invasive species of a giant lizard taking over a neighborhood. Uh, well, on Wednesday, his third night as host of Late Night with Seth Meyers, mm -hmm. he had a little fun with this phenomena of weirdness on a game show he called. I love, I love what they called it. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Here's, here's what they call it. <laughs> It's called Faker Florida. <laughs> <laughs> he gives a. Two, oh, but I have it right they, here. Oh, they so owe us money for he, that. He gives two headlines, <laughs> and then they have to figure out based on if, the, if it's a real headline sure. or not. So I figured at some point we're going to make it. That'll be our new game for here. I like uh, it. Three contestants were brought on stage to Florida guess whether or the Onion. No, well, <laughs> three contestants <laughs> were Perfect. brought on stage to guess whether the stories Myers told were true tales of Florida strangeness or simply they were made up stories. Correct responses were met with the sound of a retiree winning a bingo game, <laughs> while contestants with the wrong answer <laughs> heard a pageant mom yelling at her four-year-old. <laughs> with I guess Amber No was what they had. Uh, naturally, the contestants who hailed from Florida was the the contestant who was from Florida was blindfolded as a handicap per Florida custom. <laughs> contestants were awarded with manatee points for correct guesses. <laughs> <laughs> and is typically I the case. From man, beautiful Man Manatee, Manatee County. Manatee County. County. <laughs> Just pick a fucking name at this point. As, or a target dress. Yeah. As is typically the case with news stories from Florida, the more bizarre, bizarre, the more bizarre sounding the incident, the more likely it is to be true. Contestant number two clearly knew that he was correctly guessing the story about a teacher telling her class that, quote, the white part of the candy cane represents Jesus because Jesus is white, had in fact <laughs> happened. And had oh, his second question, which involved a roommate dispute over sex toys. <laughs> the final round was signaled by a, the sound of a raccoon pushing a satellite dish off of a carport. <laughs> a noise as familiar to Floridians as the squawking of seagulls. All three contestants correctly answered Florida when hearing about a man who was arrested for throwing chunks of concrete at a hotel and claimed that zombies were chasing him. An oddly easy question for the final round, given Florida's well-chronicled history of bath salt-induced zombie <laughs> yeah. hallucinations. <laughs> sometimes you're the zombie, sometimes you're the person throwing concrete. You never know. You just the, don't know where you're going to land. You don't. The you winners no were awarded full-size Florida State flags, while the second-place contestant, a woman from Florida, got a book on the weird news from her home state. <laughs> <laughs> now, is I thought California was a sunshine state. I thought it was the... No, the California's the Golden State. Golden oh, State. Oh, see, I'm yes. and I agree with you. I sunshine thought it was the State. Sunshine. Because I just think of the you know, yeah, there's always Florida. isn't there a bear on the flag of California too? So I'm yes. like, is it yeah. the bear state? But that would lead to all the wrong questions. That's a lot of things going on right <laughs> there. Spelling is important yeah. on that. Also, one. also being the Golden State. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't pee on me, big hairy man. <laughs> Pissing on me. You big bear. Oh. Yo. <laughs> Dear. Put him up. Put him Come up. Come on. <laughs> okay. But total against headlines. The really rottens. The really. The really oh, rottens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Yogi Ahuis. The Scooby Doobies. <laughs> and the really rottens. It's the Laugh Olympics. <laughs> I used to love it. It was because it was always <laughs> Muttley was yeah, the dog. Muttley. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that was more it. That is more it. <laughs> That's what my mom used to tell me. I laughed like when uh, I was a little, little. kid. Like yeah. you're an asthmatic kid. Totally. Yeah. yeah apparently. Mm -hmm. This is my daughter. She smokes teratins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Her name is Jan. <laughs> By the pack. <laughs> By the pack. <laughs> She's eyeing up your scotch. <laughs> <laughs> sippy sippy. Oh well. Florida. Florida. Are we going back? We're going oh. back to Florida. Two out of three of my stories take place in Florida. Wow. So, and the others in the Golden Bear State. Well, coast the to Gold, coast. I know, the Golden right? Bear State. But there you have it. <laughs> Daddy, I want a Golden Bear. Yeah. <laughs> piss on this. <laughs> Don't piss on an electric fence. That is very bad. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Yeah, go ahead. Probably so, happened in Florida. <laughs> so apparently in Florida, 
we can try to drive off being drunk. No. When we get the DUI, that's what we're going to tell the cops. Okay. We're just driving it off. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Good idea. You know. Kind of clear your mind. Some, some people in other states sleep it off. Yeah. Some people are driving home to get caught for a DUI while they're trying to go home to sleep it off. Yes, it can happen. And then there are other people that apparently drive it off. Okay. And and that would be 61-year-old Michael Moore, not to be not confused with Academy Award winning Correct. documentarian. Correct. Bowling for Columbine, <laughs> yeah. as it were. Anyway, people like uh, people down in Florida apparently like driving and drinking mm -hmm. and driving it off while they're drinking home driving and on the way from home on the way to the bar. Uh, he was stopped by cops after midnight, this Michael Moore, for speeding 18 miles over the limit through Stewart, Florida, which we have not heard of yet. I no, don't believe. I, I did not believe. So, right we need to, yeah, at, at somewhere mid a, Manatee County. Is it, <laughs> <laughs> you get Manatee points. Is it, is it UART or EW? Uh, UART. And it, it says if you don't like to fish, there's not much to do there besides drinking. So it's obviously not right in the middle, <laughs> I'm assuming, on the outskirts. Uh, <laughs> or you're just fishing in a swamp. <laughs> right. The glades. He's in his backyard drunk. Like, yeah. I don't know why oh, I'm not no. catching Stewart, a goddamn Stewart, Florida thing. is way down there. Okay. It's way down there. Yep, I see it. So he told the officer he was coming from home and he had a couple of drinks. He said he was en route to the bar for a few more. Maybe not the response. I yeah. don't know. Just, I'm, I'm not quite over. done yet. <laughs> Pull me over in another hour. I'm going to be leaving later. Yes, yeah, exactly. You get a much higher. <laughs> exactly. I want more points. <laughs> <laughs> don't I get more manatee points? <laughs> <laughs> just take a manatee well, home with you. He had, well, yeah. Apparently he was leaving the manatee because he had gotten in a, an argument with his wife. And that's oh. why he was leaving home. Oh. He was safely drinking at home until that bitch kicked in apparently well, now we've gotten the real well, person to arrest that's here right it's her fault always is he he told this person the the cop that his wife told him that he had been drinking too much so he decided to go out and drive it off <laughs> wow <laughs> there you have it now uh, <laughs> oddly he was glassy eyed and slurring but uh, oh i thought you were gonna say he had a glass no. eye <laughs> yeah i did oh, too God, that would have been <laughs> great you're gonna go full-on sammy, sammy davis, davis. right yeah. well no no not this one that's in a different part of florida i knew a man bojangles he, and he, he blew uh, a 0 0.103 0 0.104 so basically he was a little Sounds like a radio station right? oh no 0.104 that's not bad at all well it, right it's but he was legally oh yeah 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 drunk i mean it's i mean but you're, you're like half eight. diana ross there no. <laughs> right. huh. yeah. or other people reach out and have another drink <laughs> hello canada by the way you're hello. listening hi canada <laughs> anyway he he apparently slept it off instead of driving it off before his 500 hundred dollar bond was posted. in a jail sale yeah. God. Oh. Right. so well, he was he was all over but... a much higher number now you know the expression in florida is the further north you go in florida <laughs> the further south you are Oh yes, because the me the metropolitan area, the part okay. that they're also proud of is Miami, which is at the little at the, the little tip of the penis. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> but once you get into the Panhandle and everything, you're truly in, in the, the deep south. south. You are okay. You're right. So that's that's, that's the true. thing is you're in like Oki, <laughs> Oki. What's it called? Oki from Kono. Oki. No. Oki from Muskogee. That's Oklahoma. I know, but they have a town yeah. just like that with some stupid ass fucking name up there in the Panhandle too. It sounds like all Ch those noises you just made. Chattahoochee. <laughs> Ch Way down it? yonder. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, in the pan. Well, well, if only we had I, a way well, to look that I'm looking up the goddamn thing. <laughs> Tallahassee? I don't know. It's, no, there's it's Jacksonville. There's Tallahassee. There's Pensacola, there Panama has to be City. Oka something. Yeah, well, that's. Yeah. I'll Oka. keep looking. I'll, keep, I'll look. Oh, there's it. Pascagoula down there. That's next. the one. No, oh. but that's not in. That's in <laughs> Mississippi. Well, oh, okay. Close same, enough. Same thing. All right. <laughs> They're cousins. They're, right. And I've driven through all that shit to get to Orlando before. We're Q-talk like 47 states, not all of America. Right. Well, Florida's going to give us up, that's for sure. Well, anyway. now, staying in, in, yeah. in line with the, uh, the drunken, um, <laughs> police arrested a man accused of taking a small, single-wing plane from Boulder City Airport without permission. Then he took off and landed repeatedly in a junk, drunken joyride. Paul Michael Weddle, 47-year-old man, was booked into Clark County Detention Center early Monday on suspicion of piloting an aircraft while under the influence, taking a vehicle without the owner's consent, and making a false statement to an officer. 
He's scheduled to appear in court Tuesday, which I assume was today. It wasn't immediately clear if he had an attorney. Now, according to pol the police report, an employee with a local sightseeing company called Scenic Airlines reported that someone stole the plane and had been taking off and landing several times a little before midnight on Sunday. While well, police who responded said that they watched the airplane taxi around at a high rate of speed, make two 360-degree turns before coming to a stop close to another aircraft. The pilot appeared to be having, quote, a hard time operating <laughs> and controlling the airplane, according to the arresting officer. When the pilot eventually got out of the plane, police said he didn't comply with officer's commands and instead reached into his pockets. And at that point, an officer then tackled him and cuffed him, <laughs> according to the report. Now, Weedle, who police said smelled of alcohol and was slurring his speech, reportedly told officers he took the plane to complete the takeoff and landing portions of his pilot's license. Well, his blood alcohol level was later measured at a .13. Uh, it's unclear exactly how Weddle got into the airport in the middle of the night, although he appears to be a former employee of a uh, another tour airline company that operates out of that same airport. Now, uh, Mark Slack, who is vice president of the administration's uh, uh, of the Scenic Airlines uh, tour company, well, he refused to discuss comments as to how he might have gotten access to the plane or got into the airport. <laughs> mm, we don't know. Well, Federal Aviation Administration records do show that there is a Paul Michael Weddle of Henderson ah, who does have there. a pilot's license, so we assume that that is one and the same. So here he is doing touch and goes <laughs> when a goddamn plane because he wants to round out his pilot license hours. Good for you. Good for you. Well, good for you. I maybe think that through a little bit Not, more. Yeah. You know, maybe. <laughs> God. Well, there's there's cold turkey, and then there's bold turkey, and this chick was a bold turkey in Sacramento, California. B O L D bold. B O L D. Okay. She was trying to quit smoking. Bold turkey. Bold turkey. Yep. Not cold. Bold. Okay. She walked up because we we all well that we all we all me. Okay. And the She's royal. using the royal we. <laughs> She's pointing at herself gentlemen. for those of you not watching. We all like we the people. Uh. I've tried a lot of different things to quit smoking, and April 2nd will be five years. Wow, good for you. Good five five years. years. I think it is five years coming up. And maybe four. Maybe I'm lying. but the, <laughs> You're the only one that knows. Good point. Ten years. <laughs> but the, there are many different things that people try when they're trying to quit smoking. Right? The, have you ever heard of like the rubber band? Well, sure. We, okay, sort of lives. Arm hurts. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's called aversion, aversion therapy. therapy. Right. Something or other. You should call him. He have explains you... it way better than I do. See, now, in jail, <laughs> you're not to smoke. Well, no. No. And Edda Mae Lopez knew that. Edda Mae Lopez. Edda Mae Lopez. Who, by the way, doesn't look like an Edda Mae Lopez if she jumped out and bit you. Edda Mae Lopez sounds like somebody who makes one of those casseroles <laughs> out of laced potato chips. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's what that I make all kinds of animal cake except for snake because I don't have the counter space. <laughs> <laughs> well, true. she I, came up with a new one for this. Okay. She she walked up to a cop and slapped him so that she could be taken to jail where smoking is not allowed. <gasps> she just walked up and slapped the shit. How stupid is out she? Of, well, and or how smart is she? Mm. If you're having that much trouble, I'm sure it cost her a whole lot more than a carton of cigarettes. She smacked the Sacramento County Sheriff's deputy, his name is Matt Campoy, in the face Tuesday after he left the main jail. This was just, oh. Hours ago? 15 minutes ago. No. Oh. And, and she, um, it, he let her go. He took her inside the jail because she slapped him. Sure. And then she slapped the shit out of him again. Oh, oh good job. So Insult to injury. She's, she's like this tiny little thing, this 5'1", and she said she picked him because he was in uniform, and she wanted to make sure she struck a law enforcement officer. <laughs> like you do. Like, well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. My God. She had waited all day for a deputy to come outside. I oh, wonder so how it many was, cigarettes she had. So in addition, just to, just to just but in addition over over. She, she should be charged with premeditated because she waited all day. Oh, that's a good... <laughs> Well, let's see. <laughs> Premeditated slappage. Well, yeah. my favorite thing is that he has a new Irish name. Nick O'Derm. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. But yeah, she pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor battery and was sentenced Thursday to 63 days in jail with no credit for the three days that she had served. Um, and five days for violating a probation from a 2010. This is really weird to put this together. Drunken driving conviction. Um, but I just thought that that was uh, 63 days. They say it takes 21 days to break a habit. Yeah, there you go. 
So yeah. she's got or to start, times or to three. start one. Times right? three. Right. So good on her. Good on you. Good Ooh. luck, Etta May. Etta May, make me casserole out of life chips. That's what I'm saying, Etta May. <laughs> My God. <laughs> she's a busy woman. She, well, she's you know? angry. We have more. We have a couple more headlines coming up, and then Al. We're just going to turn the rest of the goddamn show over to Al, and he's just going to talk about the Oscars and I things like he likes. Things I like. Things <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> there are so many more that you don't like. I, well, <laughs> Truly. that's be for me. Truly. So, somebody's phone is vibrating. Is it you? Is it me? I keep feeling something. I, don't, I, I, I assume don't it's something it's vibrating. Maybe I'm just happy. I don't know. It's the end of hour one. Hour two is coming at you. Drinking game starts in just moments. Plus, uh, well, so much more to talk about. We've got two full hours. Stick with us. Won't you join us in the chat room? It's Q Talk America. We're coming to you live from Studio C on a Tuesday night. You've been listening to the show on Q Talk America. This is Q Talk America. The following broadcast contains adult humor, language, and topics, along with partial nudity. Actual knowledge is used sparingly. The show is a result of a lost bet and a bad game of rock, paper, scissors. It's the show with Clayton McKee. And now, a man with a face for radio, Clayton McKee. Oh, good evening once again, 8 o'clock straight hey. up. On a Tuesday night, you're in studio with the show on Q Talk America. Thank you for joining us. I'm Clayton McKee alongside Al Perkins, Marnie Reiner, and an empty seat where Katie would normally be. She may or may not still be joining us. She had some human rights campaign things to do tonight and potentially followed by some sort of a meeting. It all seems very... Some sort of a what have you. I don't know. <laughs> she's got a lot going on with the HRC uh, gala coming up at the end of this month. So she's, I'm sure, getting very... Lots of, lots of things. she got lots of irons in the fire. That's all right. Good for Katie. She's got to... She needs to do, be busy. She only got a wife and a daughter. Yeah. My God. She, she did, doesn't have enough She's more to do... Right. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have nearly no. enough no. happening I'm in her life. far busier than she is. Well, well yeah. God. And more important. You also have more animals. I think that may be part of That's the That's really a good point. Just yeah. a guess. Yeah. Not sure. That's a good point. Uh, <laughs> as we do, starting off every second hour, we do start it with a little thing called the drinking disclaimer, and it goes something like this. And now, a drink along. We dare you to stay awake during this royalty-free music and to play a drinking game with us. If you are currently or soon to be driving a car, you cannot play. If you are presently the primary caregiver for children and or the elderly, you may desperately want to play, but (gasps) no. If you are listening from a rehab facility, you are disqualified because you already hit bottom, and that means you already won this game at least once. If playing this game is in any way illegal for you, put the bottle down and make better life choices. There is no good in your goodbye, and there is no lifeguard on duty, so you will be swimming at your own risk. Tell your lawyer to take the fucking day off. You can't sue us. We warned you. Good luck. We're learning a new word today. Oh, oh enjoy what? 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 What is it? When what you... is it? Stop it. What is it? <laughs> really? <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> Leave it alone. My name is Kim. <laughs> Jesus. I was in vertigo. Kim Novak. <laughs> Kim. But again, she's still alive. Well, um, <laughs> maybe this is the dead boy. So now if someone described something as being absolutely <laughs> jumentous, would you think that was good or bad? Jumentous. Jumentous. Well, I would say good because I thought, oh, you If I'm a Jew, I think it's fabulous. Yeah, exactly. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> not, right. not, not the right root word, strange. No, but I'm just saying. I would think it's great. It's just J U, not J E. I would, I would think it was a good thing. It means smells like horse urine. <laughs> You're jumentous. Why is there a word that just specifically goes for the scent why of do, horse? Why do people fuck cars? <laughs> I'm going to always go back to that. Exactly. Whenever, ever since I found that, that's I'm going to go right fi- back to that. It's your that. official fallback now. <laughs> well, how can it not be? Anytime I think, well, I wonder why people do. Oh, people fuck cars. That's yeah, exactly. Because right. it's jumentous. And it's a- <laughs> now, is there a jumentary? Is yeah. there a, like, what, how does this I work? just love that that has a word. Okay, do that again. How do you spell it? Say it again, what it is. 
Jumentary. Jumentary. Smells like horse urine. Smells like. Can, can I get a horse spelling, urine. please? Yeah. J U M E N T O U S. It's such a simple word, and it says so much. Just like it's spelled. <laughs> I find you please. jumentous. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm gonna! I and swear to God, I'm gonna use it. Like, you are jumentous. Well, thank you. Yeah. You need to put that on like Facebook things. Right. I uh, just think you are completely jumentous. Just jumentous. <laughs> you truly are. Now the funny thing it's is, it's all I'll, people talk about when they see you. Yeah. She's jumentous. jumentous. Tell Buddy Early he's jumentous. <laughs> the sad part is, I'll say to somebody like, "Fuck you! I do not smell like horse <laughs> urine." Somebody will come right back at me. That'd be horrible. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I love it. And I love it. Now, did you follow up with that? She went to a jail that allowed smoking, so she never had to quit anyways? No. No, I didn't. That's what I was going to look up. And Harrison, by no means did you call me out. I don't know if you saw the... Well, Harrison's not watching, right? No. Because I don't know if... It, like, you could see the look on my face when I went... Uh, and that's why I said, like, 15 minutes ago. Because <laughs> I, I, I had read a story that I was going to use that had just happened. No. And so that's when, and you said, well, when did this take place? And it was May of 2013. Oh. Yeah. So when I'm reading it, I'm like, uh, anyway, moving along. Yeah. <laughs> we like to keep us some current topics. Well, a lot on. of times, like, when, when it sends you to other stories, yeah. like at the bottom of CNN, you click on it and you think it's some hot news thing. And you're no. like, you know, it was from like April of 2011. Right. And you're like, come right. on. Right. 1987 called. And yeah. they want their story back. Damn it. Anyway. Well, you know, I mentioned earlier that we are all of a, of a certain age and <clears throat> certain things people don't notice or or you know, we watch people grow up and learn things as they go, well, a North Carolina teenager learned that, uh, well, he faces time in jail after pulling his pants down while walking away from a judge. And not like in a park, like in, a, in an actual courtroom. Oh, no. Jonathan Lee Gaddy of Burlington, North Carolina, was in court this week to face an underage drinking charge. Alamance County District Court Judge Jim Robertson told him twice to pull his sweatpants up to his waist. Well... Gaddy yanked his pants down to above his knees on his way out of the courtroom, exposing his underwear to the entire courtroom. Well, it did not please the court. Robertson ordered him taken into custody for 10 days in the Alamance County Jail for Thursday's offense. Uh, Robertson also scolded Gaddy, 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 for laughing and making disruptive outbursts in his courtroom. Gaddy followed his attorney's advice and apologized to the judge and is now serving his 10 days. <laughs> I have a question. Did yeah. he quit smoking? I, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. Well, remember there was a story, like, was it last year or, or not too long ago where the guy, like, mouthed off to the judge and the judge was like, oh, you need to say that louder. And the kid thought it was funny and he's like, man, eh, that's uh, contempt of court. You're getting charged. Oh. And then the kid, like, turned around and said something under his breath, and he's like, no, I gotta turn around and say that again. Another, like, another charge. You're talking to your microphone there, buddy, and the kid got, like, all kinds of jail time. Oh, I don't and remember And it was just that. some kid just thinking he was gonna be a smart, a smart ass. ass. Yeah, no. Sure. You don't mess with the man. No, uh, 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 no, 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 not even no a man, little no bit. Sir. No, so, uh, no, sir. Uh, no, 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 However you self-identify. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I you haven't us. been penetrated... In Lately? years. <laughs> oh, okay, we're back. In Florida, at least. Oh. You oh. should call 911. Jumentous. For sex. <laughs> this Jumentous. woman is. Jumentous down there. Jumentous. This, well, well, maybe, well. Maybe that's why she hasn't been penetrated yeah, in be. years. <laughs> that know? woman is Jumentous. <laughs> Maria Montanez Colon. <laughs> Shut- Cologne. Oh, right. oh. But still, we can go with Colon. Colon. Yeah. She's Jumentous. Anyway, she was apparently drunk. Allegedly. Allegedly drunk. And well, that was my Kim Novak voice. There. Allegedly drunk. You got to go way lower than that if you want me to buy Kim Novak. <laughs> Brad Pitt is still a soprano. Um, I still understand that. Because, he came out and he had such a deep voice when no. he walked out. And Kim Novak was backstage like, he's got nothing. Oh, on me. me. Got nothing <laughs> on Not me. a chance. Um, anyway, she called 911 twice, twice in search of a cop to do extra duty. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Extra duty. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's like I need you to come over here and do my business. That's right. Do wow. My, do mentor business. <laughs> Climb up on top of me and do my business. Okay. <laughs> yes. She was um, rubbing an officer who was dispatched to her house while telling him, I'm so horny. Oh, good for wow. her. Wow. Oh, yeah. Now, no. that is the right use of technology, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, literally, down on no, no, make a cop come. Yeah. I, I, well, See? <laughs> so, my, so, wait, what? how did she lure them? What did she say she to get him to come to the house? She is open to business to everyone. Well, let's see. Does it Police say? Police say the initial 911 call happened just after six. 
And she complained that she wanted her Corvette back. Maybe that's what she calls her jumentary region. <laughs> her little red yeah. Corvette. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, There's a, a lot of horses a lot. and some of them yeah. used. <laughs> a lot of trojans. Well, all the right. jockeys that were there that's before right. me. I'm a jockey. That's what I'm when, <laughs> when the officer arrived, um, she was real drunk. Yeah. She was real drunk. Drunk and, and horny. She is, so she's 58. Out of, out of batteries. She's yeah, but this is the second person we've had is like real drunk, and they were at like point one zero. Right. Well, we're at like legal five years ago. I don't remember. It didn't say. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to know how pot. long it's been since she's been penetrated in well, her real alcohol. Well, it's her fifth level. arrest uh, <laughs> since the beginning of 2013. All right. Well, so uh, hey, she's we've got a, We've got an achiever here. She, an <laughs> overachiever, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> well. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Yeah, that, that acid. Oh. I didn't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you meant to oh. um, Anyway, she told the officer that he was sexy and asked if he was married. And then she started kind of oversharing a little bit, according to the deputy who showed up. Who got rubbed. And, uh, the the right? one, he who got rubbed. She said, I haven't been penetrated in years and I'm so horny. Mm. And the officer tried to steer the conversation, you know, a different direction. <laughs> and her response was, you can fuck me. Wow. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, it says expletive, but I'm assuming. Guess, yeah. Assume the, the position. Right. <laughs> Hump. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying. Press to digitate. So. <laughs> <laughs> jumentary. Jumentary. <laughs> um, anyway. It's jumentary, dear Watson. <laughs> <laughs> It's so gross. <laughs> Is that a horse oh. No, it's Jim Entry. It's the, la- it's the new- newest scent from Glade. They're a family company. <laughs> Do you, do you miss, miss here? Do you miss your Do you miss your years in the fields? Have no fear, Jumentri is, is here. here. It, does, it sounds like a a, a horse piss covered superhero. Woo! New, new from Febreze. You always know when Jumentri is coming. You always know when he is near. Oh God. Like a babbling brook. Oh. Well, and this woman just, uh, she doesn't give up. Montana's uh, colon. Well, she should have. Colon. Well, she, um, she apparently, the, the, the guy left. <laughs> the, he was like, I, I have to go after getting rubbed. And that the, he was uh, apparently, she called to say that the cop was pissed off at her. And so the original officer showed up with another officer. Yeah. Oh, then she's thinking she's getting a tag team. <laughs> she's like, it's an orgy. Oh, I'm going to get penetrated um, and penetrated. I saw this in a movie. <laughs> she she complained, but she then said that he was a perfect gentleman. But when I asked him to expletive me, yeah. he turned me down and that made me angry. Oh. She was a little sauced. Yeah. Keep I'm that sure in she, mind. I'm sure she didn't stand her ground and shoot him. <laughs> Mount this or you die. <laughs> How ugly is she? I so Was she's a, not pretty. There is a picture. Um, <laughs> when it, when asked by the original officer, if she remembered the conversation about the misuse of nine one one that the original officer yeah. had, had uh, bestowed upon her. Ooh. She said, "I do, but how else am I going to get you to expletive me?" <laughs> it's a fair point. It really is. You can't it really is. if you so, don't call them, they're not just going to show up and fuck you. You got to well, give them some notice that you want it. Keeping in mind. Those fifth, uh, those five arrests that she had since the beginning of 2013, were for the misuse of the emergency line. Oh, good. So God bless her. She's persistent, and I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh Maria. So um. Oh Maria. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I yeah. see her. I see her. There, I, I see her. That's that's Maria. I see and, her. Um, wow. But God bless her. She's God a widow. God bless her. She's a widow, and that you know maybe that's why. Now what she's saying is she's rubbed one off, but not been penetrated. But not been penetrated. Yeah. Correct. So basically, boys, just steer clear of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's we're, all. For for really for so so. Many. I mean, There's it a is a jumentary state. Okay, you're gonna go let her in. Yep. Stand by. It is in a state of jumentary. Wow. <laughs> that's, I'm, that's my thought. Now it's time for me to have one. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Katie June is here. I gotta have a cocktail. She's coming in. <laughs> she finished her duties. I wonder if Katie June remembers anything about Kim Novak. Oh, I'm sure she does. She was there. I know. And in, in between interruptions from what's his name? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. It all works welcome, out. Welcome, Katie June. <laughs> She's, it's it's she's so like, good to have KJ. it's so good to have you, Katie June. How are you? <laughs> are you giving us 
um, <laughs> little Kim, a little Kim Novak. Gotcha. Oh. Kim Novak loves Katie June. Well, um, <laughs> we're gonna stay with women and sex. Katie good. came in at a good time. Women yeah, and sex. Uh, women and sex. We just had a nine one one call tr- to get penetrated. And now this woman <laughs> is offering sex and a thousand dollars for murder. Ah. Wausau, Wisconsin. A wow. Wisconsin woman is accused of plotting to kill her fiance. Why don't you just break up with him? 33 year old Jessica Strom of Merrill appeared in court on Monday. She's charged with conspiracy to commit first degree intentional homicide. Is there un- first degree unintentional oh homicide? <laughs> Whoops. According to court records, Strom allegedly tried to arrange the murder last week through a friend that she had known while taking a criminal justice class at North Central Technical College. That person, being smart and studious, contacted police who set up a sting operation in which Strom allegedly laid out plans to, quote, kill her on and off again boyfriend, court documents said. WAOW TV reports that Strom allegedly offered her former classmate $1,000 and sex in exchange for the murder. <laughs> Strom remains behind bars on a $250,000 cash bond. TV reports say uh, she's due back in court on March 12th. Online court records do not list a defense attorney. <laughs> <laughs> or a smoking habit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did, I didn't think she smoked at all. I there don't was, think so. I think she was good with that one. Uh, oh, I have to turn oh, you on. Hello. Hi. 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 Poke and tickle. Yeah. Well, and I don't understand, I don't like, like when is it that somebody just, if this happens all the time, that someone's like, you know what? to kill my old man my old lady and they just go to like a random stranger yeah well yeah. no this was somebody no this is somebody oh, no, she they met knew. they met in an online oh, well, comedy yes. course criminal <laughs> justice, criminal justice class. sure but i mean it's good enough like it's just like there's a chat room. there was a murder plot here recently where some teenager went to like a random other dude that he knew that he found on the internet he's like yeah so can you kill my grandpa and the guy's like sounds like a plan well now, he I'm was gonna, a cop i'm it's gonna Tanya yeah. harding i'm gonna go out on a limb on this one right. i'm gonna bet i think this strong no lady i don't think she's really an actor Academic person because I'm pretty. I'm gonna. She's not documentary. Well, she as would, it no, were. She was in a criminal justice class. I'm gonna guess the first thing they teach you is murder for hire, illegal. Absolutely. Not good. Yeah. yeah. Even there, you know, thou shalt not, not kill. Not you, from the halls of academia. Yeah, no, we, we can't have that. or the I halls wonder, of justice. And I wonder if she was in the class to learn what not to do. In which case, she also fucked up real bad. Yeah. Like, right. She was oh, just. Good call. But maybe she went to the class knowing that she yeah. wanted to kill her boyfriend. Boy, Friend, husband, right. or fiance. Fiance. Uh-huh. These, this is like the people who Google how to yeah. make a bomb <laughs> so that they can make a bomb and then nobody will catch them because they Google it from home. My <laughs> name is Casey Anthony and I can look up chloroform now. How, how do you kill children? And then when her ch- child dies, yeah. we immediately seize her computer. How did they find me? Well, we looked at your goddamn right. search history. Yeah. It's so hard. <laughs> from, from Said, how do you kill children.com? Yeah. 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 No, we got, we're on to you. Yeah. I didn't know that they had that website. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that old, the old joke about the, when they when they take down porn from the internet, the only website will be where the hell did the porn go dot com. <laughs> Somebody should buy that domain name. I have a feeling Clayton will. Hey, I can. You can buy domain names easily. Exactly. By the end of the I feel night, like I need to Google if that's existing. <laughs> go ahead. It's where did all the porn go dot com? <laughs> see, see what comes where up. Where has all the, the porn good porn, porn gone? gone? Long time passing. Oh. Uh, if you want to get penetrated, go here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Good. And if you want it to smell like jumentry, come back here. Jumentry. And in Florida, they'll rub you off. Yeah. <laughs> but nope, not penetrate. No, we can't nope, do that. Nope, nope, nope. I forget what I call your section here somewhere. What do I call it? Um, entertainment. No. Well, I think I did, but I don't know if I named. Oh, I did. It's right there. Oh, there you go. It's it. so amazing how computers work, and I forget where I hide things from myself. It's really good. It's uh, it's time because Katie just got here. No, it's not time for Katie to do anything. Um, <laughs> Thanks, y'all. It is time for what we like to call Al Perkins' little. Well, it's when the show actually oh. just becomes Al's show, so it doesn't matter. By the way, our drinking word is jum- jumentus. If you don't know what that I means, don't, well, and I don't. Oh, well, it means smells like horse piss. Oh, fantastic! I know. <laughs> Isn't that just jumentus? Little, Al thought, is the giver. He's the giver of knowledge he, today. He had asked if it was, you know, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? And I said, well, if I'm a Jew, I think it's a good thing. You know, I'm jumentary, but. No, not if it's horse piss. Yeah. No. no, and I've I'm from, I've, I've been around a lot of horses and a lot of piss. Yikes! I've been yeah. around a lot of Jews. There, oh, there's. I mean, so wow. I don't know. Wow, there, right? there we go. I don't know. Well, that's our second Sammy Davis reference. I'm not reference. saying that they're. All- <laughs> the Jews ever let up? The Catholics come back in. It's good. Anyway, it is time for entertainment with Al Perkins. <laughs> The Oscars had their highest rated telecast in the decade. John Travolta takes over the universe <laughs> by being semi-retarded. Oh, God. Um, 
fun jokes, nice surprises. Um, Netflix has a bunch of new movies streaming this year, so I have all kinds of recommendation. Frozen passes a million in the worldwide box office this weekend. The Michelle CD's new show is out. And Looking gets renewed. Ooh. Get entertained. Oh. Get entertained. Yeah. 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 yeah, so... <laughs> Um, the big the big news for the Oscars is they they turns out they f- fucked me over and they scheduled it for three and a half hours. <laughs> I had taped it, thank God, for the right times, right. but didn't pay attention. Um, so they are no longer pretending it's a three hour program. They're just going from six thirty to ten. They have a buffer. Game's, yeah. game's over. We're not pretending we're going to do this in three hours. They never do, and then they have to, that's when they have to play everybody off, and it's awkward. Right. And, yeah, it, yeah. Looks, it looks better just. Yeah. Just allow, give yourself an extra half an hour and enjoy it. I almost so say they, they just make it a four-hour show and let's just let everybody say what well, they need no, to say. Well, no, because when they get to three forty-five, things get a, mm-hmm. everybody gets a little tense. Oh, okay. Like, and we we it took us about five hours to watch it, I think. And I oh, think yes. they were more relaxed because they did have the pizza. Oh, uh, yeah. Sad. So maybe some of them were more like okay because I haven't eaten for seven days. And what would have been a. a, a a weird joke really played because they all ate, ate it, it. And for how yeah. long you could go back and watch them actually they were eating, eating it. the pizza. <laughs> right. There yeah. were pictures of them eating it backstage. Stage. They oh, were like really? eating it in the wings. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The pizza oh, dressing room was everywhere. Yeah. And that guy got a thousand dollars tip. I love it. She collected $600 from the audience for real. Yeah. And then she gave him $400. Yeah. I guess he was on the show. He was on the show. He was. Awesome. I watched the. Oh, he was on the Ellen. Yeah. 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 Cool. He came on Ellen. He came out and did the whole segment with her. It was funny. And then they served pizza to the audience of Ellen. Um, but it was it was funny because he's he literally was told that he was bringing pizza to writers or producers and just to wait backstage and then all of a sudden she comes out of nowhere and grabs him. I don't know that the I don't know that the initial thing was that she they knew that she was going to pull him out there. Oh, I don't think so either. I she think... told him to stand right there and she sure. goes, "And you follow me when I go." And she's like, "Okay." He's like, "I don't know what we're doing." All of a sudden, I'm on. He goes, "All of a sudden, I'm on stage at the Oscars." <laughs> That's Which fantastic. is just, it was so and cool. And he was such a cutie. And they, and, they yeah. showed some, I did see some video. Was it during the Oscars? I can't remember, but they played the video where he was, went back to his pizza shop and was like, oh my God. Oh, and I all of his, that. yeah, there was a video. That was after. And it was I, so cute. And yeah. his pizza shop was so excited. Oh, I'm and he sure. was so excited. Well, and, anyway, he, you, uh, Ellen said something like, you know, is there anyone that you want to, that you would like to see? And he's standing in front of Julia Roberts, Roberts like, I'm right here. Yeah. <laughs> He even, he even said on Ellen that and back in Moscow, which oh, is yeah, where he's, he's from, from he oh. used to watch uh, Pretty Woman and all of her movies, and oh, he'd always cool. just love her and be standing right there. And serving her a slice. Oh, so uh, that was that was real. Serving her yeah. a slice. Yeah. Oh, serving her a slice. Jumentary. There you go. <laughs> it's so, jumentious. It is I like jumentary <laughs> because that's what I called it before. Okay. But 43 million viewers. <laughs> it means it, being pissed on rather oh, than yeah. pissing on. Gold, that, that's gold, true. Gold, golden steak. Gold, it is the golden steak. <laughs> Golden Bear State. Mm-hmm. Golden Bear State. <laughs> so the biggest non-sports audience since the um, 2004 Friends finale. It is the third in a row that the ratings are up. Um, Wait, wow. the biggest non-sports audience since the Friends finale? Yep. That's Ten years crazy. Years of huge yeah. numbers. And how they, long ago was the Friends finale? For those of us. 2004. Wow. Ten years. Yeah. Friends and, uh, oh, and Frasier right. both went off in 2004. Wow. Frasier was such and, a good show. And Sex in the City yeah. all, ended, all ended in that same few few weeks of just sad sad tv lots of crying at my house um <laughs> so the oscars beat the golden globes by 22 million and they um had more viewers than the grammys by 14.5 million so if you think the oscars are going somewhere um they're not no right um 11.2 million tweets about the event so that's really good so everything about it from every standpoint the oscars did well basically well reviewed um from top to bottom Pink, just the best she's ever been. Yeah, yeah. That, that Midler fantastic. was good. Showed her age a little bit, maybe a little bit of strain. But I think I then, thought she was great. I, oh, I did too. But she's just not. She's just may not I up just, to. She's and 68. May I just? She's sixty-eight. But may I just the the interesting thing that I thought because then later with um, Adele Dazim, where where all of a sudden. Um, she was having difficulty. And oh. granted, nerves, you had said, you thought, and everything else. But with the orchestra, as Clayton had pointed out, not being there. In the our, in the Capitol building, weren't they? The weren't Capitol, Capitol Records, In fact, I just wanted uh-huh. to know exactly how far away the two are, so I'm Googling directions. Well, there was one point, there was one point where uh, Bet was singing and normally would start belting out uh, this one part. And all of a sudden went up to her ear and then kind of went oh and put her hand on her the inside of her arm kind of like oh that wasn't cl-. like you probably shouldn't do that like touching your ear stuff whatever and and she 
physically yeah. put her arm down, but you could tell that's right where she did not yeah. sing the way she normally would have. And I thought, interesting. Then that happened with And I think they're Adele both used Dizem. to dealing with conductors that are there that they can right. kind of feed well, off and of I wonder and how the off. sound yeah. came through and, and maybe it it was a little bit more than just And I really thought nerds. with the Adina Menzel, I mean, I think look I listened to it back. I yeah. they shortened the song. Oh. They had they had purposely yeah. cut the song down okay. so they were missing part of it. And then I felt like it was just too fast. And I felt like she couldn't see a conductor to be like Slow it down, Where buddy. It was, it she was, was something was ahead wrong. of it, right? It, yeah. She was ahead of it. No, they were ahead of her. Oh, she was, okay. See, they that's were, what I was to hearing. To me, they, they were playing too okay. fast, and she was like crazy trying to catch up. And then she just went sharp at the end, and it just all went wrong. When she, right. when she went sour. It is exactly a mile away. The the, the Dolby Theater uh, from Capitol Records building is yeah. exactly a mile so down. So great technology. Maybe work on that. But it, it, even like, and, and rewatching cool, it back but... on my computer, it didn't sound as bad as it did to us. Sitting there. Sitting there. Okay. Like, that was kind of shocking. And a friend of mine posted on something on Facebook about how um, it was just, a friend of mine said it was just the end. That I mean, everyone kind of noticed that sharp at the end. Um, and this is a, a friend of mine who's been in choir and theater and music, and she said it was great. She goes, I feel like she was a little thrown off by the name thing, and then the end was a little bit weird. But she, there's a friend of mine said overall it was good, and I'm thinking, were we watching the same performance? Because well, watching, I rem- watching remember it, thinking it was horrendous. Watching it back, it's not bad, but the end goes sour, and then it goes, and then you're like, oh, because oh. you can just see what's. And I think like just having seen, having personally seen her live, sure. and and hearing her name, voice name, name dropper yeah well yeah. <laughs> i was in row seven it's but, no I, big but deal. I have to but, i have to agree oh, with you well but like and and hearing her voice on a recordings and in the movies i mean she is just so amazing and she went on jimmy fallon um and then did after, a really cute version and did right. such a good version with preschool oh, really? instruments it was, yeah, very, cute. It was, it was really it. very cute it's all over and Facebook. she like belted it out when she's sitting in this but little there room isn't as much Pressure. The pressure. There's no pressure. And, right, yeah. Because it was I mean, just fun and preschool sure. instruments. Yeah, and so that, that it was odd, but I'm glad that, I mean, this many viewers, it's it's a good sign for Ellen DeGeneres and for the winners. Um, Did just, you notice that people were saying that they weren't impressed with Ellen at all? Okay. What is so the story with I that? I feel like I need to jump on the bandwagon. I heard it. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have already discussed, but it, she was, we and not. I said no, that we night. Haven't. Oh, no. Okay, so I we waited for you. Thank you. Yeah. I said that night too that it was like watching a comedy show. Like I, I was so entertained from start to finish oh, of I, that yeah. broadcast of the Oscars, yeah. like I have never yeah. been in the past. Yeah. That entertained and ca- and engaged, and I thought that was all Ellen. And you had to keep paying attention because she was throwing zingers. Oh yeah, she was throwing excellent zingers at people. There were, and if you weren't paying attention, and you were, you were going to be like, "What?" There and, were people who said that she was offensive yeah. and boring, and I, I just like none of those things. It, to me, it was what a, I watched. It was very yeah. casual. Yeah, like she didn't, she didn't try to do song like, and dance. Yeah, and, she just kept mm-hmm. it very casual, which but it, is but it perfect. kept you engaged. And she was, she played off the fact that like I'm here between two movie stars, and I'm gonna take a selfie, yeah. and I can't remember who she was. It was it between Leonardo DiCaprio and. Uh, Sandra Bullock when and she kind of jumped forward when she, and, they, and they, they didn't know <laughs> yeah. she was there. Yeah, that was like there so were just funny. some fun. I, she was later really great. Moments, I thought. Yeah. yeah. I, well, and to come awesome. out to to come out in the the Good Witch. Yes, Glenda, my cousin. Yeah, mm-hmm. she comes out in that outfit, and people were like, "What? I don't get." Well, Whoopi had just had the other socks on, and you right. know, like she yeah. was the the Wicked Witch of the West, and I just I thought it was very cute. And if if Pink hadn't been so good, I think yeah. that um, it would have caught. No, but I, I think the that whole tribute to the Wizard of Oz would have been like, huh? Mm. Weird. Because to have the family just sit in the audience and not sure. say anything. That, I thought then, that was a little awkward yeah. to have them just like, stand up, sit down, that's all they do. And yeah. one of our big heroes yeah. in movies is Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. Like, huh? Like, mm. I thought it was a bit, like, I thought we yeah. were stretching things a little too But thin, it was but an anniversary. Like, right, but the two gay boys who are in charge, Neil and Craig, I, they found a way. Like, they... Sure. You're wandering through the woods and all of a sudden Pink just comes out and sings something right. like that. Well, which, and wasn't which was Dion amazing. And thank God it wasn't Lorna left. Right, right, yes, right, right. You know, like, can oh, you imagine? Also, did you see on the red carpet? No, Liza? I said thank God it wasn't Liza. Yeah, what because was the did story? you see Liza right. on the red carpet? What, so everyone's saying that she, she didn't wasn't have a wearing bra a bra. On. But and here's satin. I'm assuming, and like you could silk? straight see like areola, nipple, oh, we like don't need that. everything. Like it was like the full. Monty. I'm probably going to be upset at myself, but I'm going to Google. Oh, Liza yeah. Oh, Red there's, no, there's no, there's no missing it. Missing no coming it. back. No, no it is all like well, giant. Yeah, they, but all of a sudden it was this big thing Liza about her nipple. hair. 
like that she wore this blue so streak. So I actually and I thought, good for her. What I was reading, and then I was read down and went, oh, that <laughs> she was so like. The, the, what I read about her fashion was the hair was really cool yeah. and good for her for rocking the streak of blue and the cool blue outfit. But it was just like, and I thought she actually looked pretty I thought cool. She looked good. And I with the exception blue, of the short of the areola, total no areola, yeah, basic foundation <laughs> garments, lady. <laughs> yeah, because um, you were born during World War II. <laughs> yeah. and the saggy. You need a bra. Yeah. yeah. What is she? Is she three feet tall? That's How very is she? she No, she's 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 tiny. She yeah. is so tiny. No, well, but she's... maybe she was one of the munchkins. No, she no. was not one of them. But Judy, no, Gar- Judy sure? Garland was only like four nine or four Never ten. Not. Yeah, she was shorty. She is a tiny woman. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So Liza's Liza's a little bit bigger, but not not by much. Hmm. Well, she was, and God knows she was. Added. God knows she was a dancer. <laughs> so huge ratings there. What else do I have on my list? Um, the other thing about the about the whole show is really this was the the first year in a while that there was not one surprise really. In every category. I kept yeah. hoping for, for something. For some reason, I kept being surprised. Every answer was like, <clears throat> well, I was shocked. Because nothing that I picked. Remember last week I told you, yes, this and is what so I, I want to win. Judged not all my I think things, will win. right, based <laughs> on your want to win. Not one of my want to wins really one. came true. We didn't we Certainly didn't Julia script Roberts at all. didn't. No. Because I had put that down. I thought it was fantastic. Clayton, you had left before everything was tallied, I think, didn't no, you? No, I was there to, to, to make sure that tally? I lost. Oh, yeah. Steve, look at that. Yeah, because I got no, 10 No, I right. you got 10, but I, I got no. 14. Had, yeah, no, no I was there because remember, it was this, it was this, this one thought she could marvel mathematics and tabulate shit, and I was like, just <laughs> oh, give right. it to me, I'll add it up, right. and you can write it down. I was, I, just, I was working in the other room. I was just the point. tick marker. That's right. One, yeah. two, three. But it, but it worked. <laughs> And 14, we each got 14, so we... That was pretty good. And it, it was. The winners had 18. And Malfi over 17. here... 17. 17. Mal- Malfi over here, well, and I mean that slightly, <laughs> was like, she never listens. She, and, and I pointed out, and I'm like, what? Bitch, I got a list. And and, <laughs> and, and you probably would have won if you would have not gone with what I picked well, last year's my I personal choices. Well, because I was so fast that I did the... the I was like, the okay, list these are good. the personal choices, and these are the uh, shit, and I didn't put which, <laughs> which side. Which one was which. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always good. So I mean, I was really hoping for an Amy Adams upset or maybe a Leo upset. But I think Harrison, or at least a pasty, if not a bra, she could have called Miley. Yes. <laughs> it's got to be something. <laughs> that's um, fantastic. So now the big thing that's that's all over like Twitter and the news is the the Liza as a drag queen joke. Um, oh, yeah, that's that, the big. Right. Yeah, very good well job, done. Sir. Well done, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which was hilarious. I think and it's funny. I don't think that's offensive. Okay, I'm not a part of the transgender community, but Why a lot that? of men drag queens dress yes. up as and Liza, and that was the you, putty. point. I guess I just feel like okay, use it as an opportunity to get your like voice Agenda. heard. But come on, Ellen come really on. Yeah, is Ellen really against the transgender community? Oh no, but but Liza. If said, Alec Baldwin had been up there, maybe, but yeah. you know, and but Liza said that she should have said something about "I know it's you, Liza." Liza was offended that she left it standing. Oh, Liza was offended. Yeah, Liza actually said it wasn't very oh. funny because she didn't then fix the joke and say "No, it's you, Liza." It she is wa- you. she walked away and said "Congratulations, sir," and then she wasn't introduced again sure. till the part about her mother. So Got she it. was a little bit. Hurt, she said. Her and okay. her and Ellen are friends, and she thought she could have at least acknowledged that it really was sure. Liza Minnelli, not a man there. I don't know, but I think yeah. Liza was kind of hurt. I'm going to go with to let it go. Yeah. I, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, like Liza, you're you. big. Everybody yeah. knows you. And I didn't think it was mean. I thought it was funny, but I'm not Liza, funny. and I, nobody called me a drag well, queen. So and, I don't know. and the thing you're is, not is that I really thought she looked good. I did too. I thought Apparently, she looked great. Minus the minus the nip slip. Yeah, the nip slip. No, she's got to be seventy this year. Sixty-seven, born March twelfth, forty-six. Yeah, remember he oh, looked thought, that up. Oh, I no, okay. And, and that's by, what we were saying because she's sixty-seven. Beth's sixty-eight. My mom's six, same age. Six, Absolutely, seven. we were like, what? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And by the way, just for those of you keeping score, want to know uh, both Liza Minnelli and Lorna Left are five four. Their mother Judy was four eleven. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Very. God damn, well, that's a tiny, tiny. Well, all that voice coming, that little bit. And of at woman. one point when wasn't, she had um, hepatitis. She had ballooned up to like 140 or 150 pounds, and on a four foot ten person, sure. she was a balloon. Right, just a sure. ball. So that when she would if get she were skinny, any shorter, she was she'd be a circle. She was Kristen Chenoweth, like tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny. Wow, <laughs> Woody. What? If she were any shorter, she'd be a circle. She'd be a circle. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. It's one of my favorite lines ever. Out of a human being. <laughs> it's the honest to God truth. So, um, looking oh, from HBO, guy. got renewed oh, for next for a second season. I just find the show so pleasant. 
It was another so great episode. Jason. This he weekend. loves yeah. it. Yeah. Very pleasant. Yeah. It's all people you know. It's very simple. It's not very. It's not terribly exciting. I'm not going to lie to you. This was but a, it is. It's but it's just enjoyable. Yeah, and it's not so self-serving and nauseating as girls. Like you don't actually yeah. want to physically hurt members of the cast. Well, they you talk. I just you love Allison. I really you love Allison Williams, and it makes me so sad. <laughs> yeah, that like now she wants to be a music star. Like, oh, thank oh, she you. I had to give that up like three weeks ago. Yeah, she was singing songs from Rent one week, and then she had a video, and I was like, I'm done. I can't watch white women be this unhappy. Um, <laughs> but so Looking got renewed for a second season, mm. and now we get to the end. This week, this Sunday is going to be the season finale of True Detective which I think helped Matthew McConaughey's Oscar chances was the fact that he's, you know, currently in this spectacular HBO series. Um, and I really think that helped his chances that people are every week were like, okay, he's a fucking great actor. Cause he's playing like the detective in the nineties, the detective in 2002. And then the detective today, like he plays this, he's playing the part over three different ages through the course of each episode. And, it's a tricky fucking show, and I seriously need someone it's to explain brilliant. every part of it's it to me. It's just brilliant. Did you watch? Did you watch Sundays? You said. Yeah, and I had to watch it again. It's mm. the, this is the third episode I had to watch a second time because I'm like, brilliant. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Brilliant. But the guy in the lawnmower has something to do with that. That's what I've decided. Oh, totally. Yeah, he's he's the killer. He's it. Well, either that or they're hiding behind him. I think it's the um, and I can't think of that douchebag. He always plays a douchebag. Um. The guy who that the came, golf and golfing? No, the one who's like the the big wig guy, not the sheriff, but the couple episodes ago, where oh he they came, they wanted to take away the case. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. And he, I, yeah. I think he is there. Some kind of a um, like a a cult, that cult they're all kind of him. thing, right? Yeah, Absolutely. I and so I think wait, he's the head of what the is cult. this? It's called True, True Detective. Detective. Matthew McConaughey oh, and uh, oh, so this cult Woody situation Harrelson. is in the show. Yeah, oh, Woody okay. Harrelson. Yeah, but we yeah. don't. You don't. We have no. We're just guessing because yeah. you have they're trying no to fucking it. idea. I still don't know everywhere. what's going on with the little girl that was missing in the first episode. I still have not tied but her. But that's into the plot. A, that's the whole video thing. Yeah, that's the video that they just oh, watched. That right, was, oh, they, yes, 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 they did. That, that was up. terrifying. <gasps> yeah, it's so good. Oh, so then um, Netflix and they're constantly trying to change what they're streaming every month and trying to keep people from me to stop bitching about. You can't just have streaming because you're missing so many good movies. Right. If you don't get DVDs as well. Well, this month they added The Ice Storm, which is Ang Lee's classic movie about the 70s with um, a cast of thousands. It's Sigourney Weaver's best role ever. It is one of the movies I have always been shocked was not nominated for more Oscars. It should have been Best Picture. It should have been Best Actress. The Oscars should have been flying at this movie. Um, It's on Netflix. Dirty Pretty Things, which I talk about all the time with um, She Would Tell Ezra for. And um, Amelie, Audrey Tattoo, um, oh. in a Stephen Frears movie. Dirty Pretty Things. I thought that was a television show. No, it's that's that's Pretty Little Liars. No, that's a different. There's a different. Oh, okay. Well, this is Dirty Pretty Things, and this is the movie about the London Hotel. We're about thirty minutes in. You're like, what the fuck is this movie about? And then about five minutes later, you're like, oh my god, I can't believe they made a movie about that. And it is so fucking good. Dirty pretty things. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I feel like I need to take notes. You do. My computer is like dying on me a little slowly. So, okay, dirty pretty things. Good. It's on storm. Netflix. Yep, they're on Netflix streaming. Mud with Matthew McConaughey, oh, which, yes. which I okay. thought was the better role of the two of him. As good as that one is, I thought he was good in Mud as well. Okay. The Silence of the Lambs is on Netflix. So if you've never seen it, Letterbox, you've Seriously, never seen it in pristine so form. Um, the Silence of the Lambs is on mm. Netflix in its most pristine form ever, and it looks beautiful. I checked already cool. before I came here to make sure. And then, uh, Katie, I think you'll love Center Stage, uh, Backstage at the Ballet with Gorgeous Dancing. Susan Strumman directs um, Center Stage is Okay, because I, I know, like, the feature film Center Stage. That's it. That's oh, yeah. It. Oh, I love so it. So it's on Netflix streaming now. So if you want a little dancing, a little early 2000, the what the choreo- choreo- choreography world was doing that wasn't too... Weimariner. Sh- the hell was that? Sh- I don't know. <laughs> Weimariner I was trying to fit Jumentary into it, and I couldn't. <laughs> so that's there. And then Leah Michelle's uh, CD came out today. Okay. It's um, available on iTunes as of today, or I think you can probably go somewhere and buy it. I don't know of anybody that has any bonus songs, but they've been releasing mm-hmm. like one song at a time. For the last three months, and the whole CD came out today. I've listened to like four or five songs from what do you it. Think? It's pretty good. Okay. Um, you know, she's struggling to not be a Broadway singer. She's trying to okay. get her place in that um, Kelly Clarkson, um, Miley Cyrus kind of uh, void. Do you think so? 
Yeah, she's trying to get like a she pop. Would, no, but I mean, do you think she'll be able to do that? I think she's got a couple songs on there that have a shot. And she's okay. trying to like get something that can be remixed and get kind of an anthem out there. I just, I don't know. Because I um, bought, I think, one of her songs. Because it's Leah Michelle and I love her. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like, I I guess I would buy... At, I tried to buy Idina's songs when she released like a like a pop album. Stand was it called Stand? Yeah, and I just up? didn't really love it. <laughs> but I will listen to her sing Frozen over. I'll listen to her sing a yeah. Broadway yeah. song over yeah. and over and over. And like okay. those voices to me are just they're so Broadway and they're so perfect. Yeah, and so it's hard for me to hear like. Nts, nts, nts but no, but she the, but she's been doing pop you songs know? on Glee for so long that it's not as hard. A she has been, but it's just but it's, it's hard, hard for, for me. Someone else's. Yeah. It's, it's hard for my brain. Right, and this time, it's not somebody yeah. else hearing it first because the Herbert the Paramore song. Um, um. Oh God, what the hell's the name of that Paramore song? The new one? No, 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 no. The uh. Oh, for the love of Jesus! If only we. Had I a can't way. Google. I my computer <clears> is. <throat> Basically broken. Oh, with I don't know what and you've it's done. not gonna. I, it's like very strange. I need to. That's gonna reboot. drive me. It's gonna drive me absolutely nuts. So we'll talk about that. So, anyways, her album has a couple good songs on there. Honest to God, there are. And then, um, that's gonna drive me crazy till I think of it. The only exception is okay. the one that I think. How does it go? From back in two thousand nine. You are the only can... exception. Okay. I can, I'm not doing any justice. And songs. you I can, are, but they don't actually sing that. Isn't there someone else that sings that song and then they covered it? Who? The only exception, or was that Paramore like from the get go? I don't. know. I think it's Paramore from the get go. Ooh, because I always I thought that was like a cover. I don't. I don't know, but we're gonna look it up Let's now. Let's check it out. So, anyways, that's her really good song. <laughs> Google so, it. Um, Hannibal debuted to pretty good ratings on a really shitty night to throw a TV show. It's on on Friday nights. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Gory is just always... started DVRing it, but I haven't yeah. watched it yet. First episode okay. was Friday. Um, really, really, really well done and cheap, and hopefully that'll stay on for a while. And that's pretty much all I got. I have one question. Yep. Have you seen the newest uh, episode of Mom? Yes. The about the. Uh, adoption, the potential yes. adoption. Honest to God, I he has told me to watch a number of things, and what mm-hmm. I am thrilled that you said to watch that show. It's one of the funniest. Like, just burst out laughing out loud that that Allison Janney is <laughs> fantastic and her delivery and the writing is pretty good for that show. Very, is very well done. And Anna the- Ferris is. A good she, compliment? Yeah, she holds it together. But the, the the thing that you just can't stop getting over is Alice and Janie yeah. is so likable. She's playing she really the most is. unlikable human yeah. in the world. But she yeah. has such a winning person. And not, not the Charlie Sheen version of winning, but she just has such a winning personality. And she's just so confident. And her timing <laughs> is impeccable that she just delivers that shit home. And you just find yourself, you're like... I'd like to know her. She'll yeah. probably steal everything I own and pee on my carpet. Right. But, but she's I'd great. I'd like to say I'd like to go have a beer with her, except she doesn't drink in the show. I mean, like this character. <laughs> so, and and that's what makes it very funny. The and I think for me because of mom having uh, next month will be twenty years of sobriety. Wow. Yeah. And and it's, it's just one of those things that they're th- you know when they go to these AA meetings and there are different pieces of that 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 some of the delivery from Anna Ferris. Uh, from her character is very funny. That and and mom hasn't sat down and watched the show yet. I think she'll get a big kick out of it. But Allison Janney's character, when she's <laughs> riding around on the scooter, I'm gonna pull your oxygen. <laughs> but I mean, when when the you know she's like, I just wanna I wanna do a line and drink a beer and. <laughs> I mean, it's just, and she like because she was a drug addict and like this just a sex fiend and, and, a, and, a, but, and, and, and a and a, drunk. a, a mule to get like <laughs> yeah, like totally. they talk about all the places they had to swim back from because they were out of the country illegally. Had to, I just, started watching it last hysterical. week, and I think I saw one or two episodes. Mm. But what didn't we talk about too? Alice and Jenny in the way way back was oh. like the comic relief yeah. of the whole thing. I mean, she's just hilarious. Because you knew you were in, the minute sure. Alice and Janney walked out in that movie, you oh, just knew you were in safe hands. Like, so One good. joke in and you're like, oh, we got this coverage. Yes, She'll, and no it's going to be No matter what happens, fun. we can just turn the camera to Allison, sure. see what she, she's going to do. She really right. is. Was, was, she, 
What was her big thing? Was she in the Juno? West Wing? She was in the, the West, West Wing. Wing. The West Wing. That's what Juno. I know. She's in Primary um, Colors. Primary like, Colors. She's one of those people that when you when you IMDb her, <laughs> yeah. it's like it's shocking. Like, sure. She's been in everything for years, and yeah. then finally on the West Wing. They nominated for the Emmy West and Wing she is where got I every single her. vote because they're like, mm-hmm. she's so liked. Did she win yeah, the Emmy? Oh, yeah, good. she won the Emmy. And then she was in 9 to 5 on Broadway with Megan Hilty. She played the, oh. um, she Wasn't played she, the um, Jane Fonda role. Oh, no, I no, no, thought Lily she Tomlin. was Lily Tomlin. She was yeah. Lily Tomlin. Yeah. yeah. And her little song in the 11th hour was, 11 o'clock hour was, oh, it was, a, it was a shitty show. But she was funny in it and Megan Hilty sang some nice songs and really looks and sounds like Dolly Parton. Yeah. For, so it sold what was a really awful, awful, awful oh, piece of theater. Oh, that's yeah. bad. Yeah. But, you know, it's I get just, just They did it's it. It's one of those it, things they where did like, it. I'm it sitting is in done. a shitty show, but there's Megan Hilty there. And Allison Janney, so I can be. Stephanie Bullock, that was the, who, who was supposed to be in Wicked, but oh, she had to turn yes. it down and Adina Menzel stepped in. She played the one role, and then I mean, it was it was a cavalcade of stars. Right. Like, so you're gonna just enjoy it anyway, even that though was. it was Jumanji or what is our word? <laughs> Jumentry. Jumungus. Jumentious. 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 Or Jumentary. I appreciate. Jumentary. It's that's, Jumentary. That's what I like. This is Jumentary. <laughs> How very Jumentary of you. Well, thank you. Cheers. So now next week we'll start looking at cancellations and see what shows are getting the boot because we're we're at, we're at that time we're getting ready for. Uh, I'm still really sad about Sean Save the World. Yes. I agree. And you know everything got put <laughs> on hold because that. of because of the Olympics. So February sweeps yeah. were really about how did you hold up during the Olympics? Okay. And how fast can you get out of the building <laughs> right. when you oh. find out that you smell a little bit compared to the Olympics? <laughs> like Jumentry. Because the Olympics You're ratings were um, really good, and NBC got high marks for. Mm-hmm. Turns out many people agreed with me with that. They're spreading it over the networks and how much. Oh, people liked it. Yeah, and if if you wanted to watch something live, there was a chance. Like you didn't. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to wait for recaps at night. Perfectly appropriate to do so, but the networks of Universal turns out Shut they it got, all. nobody watches any of their stations, but their real estate's there. <laughs> <laughs> you could tune in if you wanted to. It, it, uh, it's really only you keeping you from watching NBC. That's right. Sean saves the world. Uh, unfortunately, I, I happen to catch um, Megan Mullally on Ferguson, the Craig Ferguson okay. show, which I. I just I wish I would have found him a long time ago. He just he's, oh, he's so, so funny, funny to me. He's very anybody, funny. I just can't an, I have anybody that can, listening to him. Anybody who can talk to a robot for the whole yeah. time. I just love it. Anyway, but <laughs> Megan was funny. on the show and unfortunately he asked her about that and she was two weeks away from doing her guest her oh, guest no. appearance on this on it. And I don't yeah. know what character she was going to be, sure. but I don't know if she would have been oh, like so a I never his, even got to film it? No, oh. never oh, filmed it. Oh, that's too bad. She was it two weeks away. From, Wait, and who she was that? The boss's Megan wife. Mullally. Karen oh. Walker was about to be on Sean Hayes' show. Wouldn't that have been funny if she had been the boss's wife? Oh, it really would have been. <laughs> yeah, that would have been perfect. <laughs> that would have been funny. Tom, what was his name? What is his name? The guy I'm... from... Uh, Reno 911. Well, it's too bad because in Reno 911... <laughs> that is one of my all-time favorite shows. Funny, oh, shit. funny shit. I have and seen it. Lived. You introduced me to it. All ad lib. They gave funny. him a premise yeah. and they said go, and they all ad lib that shit. Right. No. Run yes. Run. Wait. Yeah. Reno Nine One One is entirely ad lib. Most all of them. Mostly, yeah. They had they had general outlines of stuff, and then they said go, and they just shot them doing. I ad-lib. had no idea it was all improv. <laughs> so much of that was improv. So is now the the best in show movies. Those best in show and. Um, yeah, the Waiting mighty wind, the mighty and, wind. Those yeah. are all improv. They, m- really? Yeah, almost all of it. So you, so if you watch the outtakes, you see all the things that they tried before they landed on, on the one that worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the that is really fun. Away, and look at you, it's and look so <laughs> interesting because those are like what I think are the funny. It makes for the fun. I think right. those are the funniest movies, and they're just so deadpan and dry and. Kelly doesn't get it. Like when we watch those together, she's like, "This is stupid," and I'm rolling. Like yeah. I think it's hilarious. I didn't realize it was all improv. I knew I knew, knew there was improv involved, but interest you learn something new. Oh yeah. yeah. The Every more day. you know. Right Nothing here, right? ever happens. Cute on talk. Mars. Right right here. Here. <laughs> There's that. The name of that song. So yeah. now Katie, I so I are you are you wrapped up your entertainment? Are you are you good? Are you I mean no, yeah. more's gonna come. We we know more's coming because you're still breathing and you're gonna talk. But <laughs> Katie, fair, fair to say. Though yes. I realize that you you arrived late because you had uh, prior commitments. I did. Is there a sports thing you have or no? Yeah, do, I mean, do, I just whooped something together. You did? Yeah. Well, nice. my God, well, whoop it. Whoop it. All right. This week in sports, sports. and some other stuff. We're starting with other stuff. The Atla Worldwide 
Missionary Church has I some strong words for the gays. Jared oh. Leto, some people don't like him. The Nets are signing Jason Collins again. Oh. Paula oh. Kramer sinks a 75-foot eagle putt to win the Women's yeah. LPGA Championship. Richard Sherman, kind of a racist. <laughs> It's and, and other stuff. stuff. No, 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 no. So, um, yeah, I just I, I knew there were a couple of sports things that had happened. One of them I was really excited about. Um, but I will start with the other stuff. A sign in front of a Harlem, New York a church in Harlem, New York, led a polarizing and controversial. I'm going to start. Use there. your there words, go. Katie. There use you your Jumanji. words. <laughs> Jumanji. Jumanji. A sign in front of Jumanji. a church in Harlem, New York, led by a polarizing and controversial anti-gay pastor is making rounds on the internet called the ATLA, which I don't see that that stands for anything else. It's the A-T-L-A-H, Worldwide Min- Min- Missionary Church. The religious organization is led by Dr. James David Manning, who has been an outspoken critic of Obama mm-hmm. and the progression of the LGBT rights over the course of the past six years. Because right. the progression of our rights, I mean, is something that this guy, yeah. it's, it's what his church was founded on, really, is yeah. opposing gay rights. Yeah. The sign that's on their church, the big signboard says... Obama has released the homo demons on the black man. Look out, black woman. A white homo may take your man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hashtag amen. Hashtag church Sunday. Hashtag Sunday best. I mean, I just don't even. Hashtag I feel a challenge. Hashtag hashtag praise Jesus. I mean, hashtag Hashtag fucked up. The the sign was inspired by a video which they've played here in which he makes some very jarring statements about gay and black culture he's obviously very very extreme he says it's devastating what obama is doing to the black man and the black woman and how the white homo is moving into the black neighborhoods and looking for black men to convert so watch out black asses because the white homos are hashtag coming at ya coming at ya that's some geometry shit now now you gotta wonder now does this does this fall into what um that was very good without painting any kind of a brush with any kind of a brush, but like Spike Lee talking about uh, the gentrification and how uh-huh. he wants everybody out of his fucking neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, San Francisco, which in the middle of all those rants on Sunday, there was one about gentrification. Yeah. From our guest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Super special. <laughs> A, we, we did talk about a that. A pointed comment was made about gentrification. So I'm wondering, well, is that is that they're, they're, because that is who's going to come in and gentrify <laughs> your neighborhood, is the Clintons who did yeah. it first, and then the gays will be in Harlem a minute later making things. You know, I mean, it's possible. Because but... uh, Don, Don Lemon on yeah. CNN mm-hmm. was talking about his apartment in Harlem and how it was like, it was his, he lived there, his grandmother died, he stayed in the apartment, and then he had a chance to buy it, but it was too much money. Yeah. So he moved, and he's like, and now I can't afford to go back there yeah. because it's been gentrified. Okay. So now this neighborhood that was his grandmother's for years and years and yeah. years. It's, it's. So is there a little bit of that kind of like you're chasing us out of our neighborhood? I mean, possibly. Redecorators, or is it. <laughs> but I think this guy's. Just straight up hate. Just straight hate. Yeah. He, um, sure he like <laughs> continuously tells his church, and one of the platforms that he preaches on, which is super sane, is. Is that he fully supports the anti-gay laws in Uganda and Nigeria, and he fully mm. agrees with dragging out the gays by their hair and beating them and setting them on fire in the town square. And it's yeah, no. really so. I don't think that this well, is so as much. Much. gentrification happens yeah. to him. Yeah, I really. Would, I I wish, was, I wish isn't that, that the first Friday of every month? <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, 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 I think so. Downtown. Um, so anyway, it's Crazy. really he wants to post a top homos list just like Uganda. Like <laughs> wow. this man is fucking crazy, and yeah. he is a big old black I'd like man. To see that list. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. America's I, top homos. Oh, love it. I just be dancing guy, and decorating. I mean, I know that people say this, right? But there's something weird happening inside of your body oh, yeah. when you are that hateful like he's either like masturbated to gay porn before like maybe once right. or like he's terrified like somebody's gonna play right. one of his it's like on his computer a friend of he's his in elementary school there's like touched number. him in the shower like there's something happening in your history that you literally want a list of top gays in your neighborhood so that you can drag them up by their hair and beat them but maybe you're gonna jack up with them first right. and yeah. and to make sure that all the attention is not pointed on you well mm-hmm. right Which, well thou doth protest too much right yeah. 
yeah. I mean, don't they get it? Yeah. Oh, that's exa- if your if your minister has more to say about homosexuality than I don't give a shit. Yeah. There is something going on in his pants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot happening there. But it sounds too a little bit like the gentrification issue, which I have to say, as far as gentrification, it's happened in my neighborhood, and I am really thankful. Oh, me too. Really? Th- oh, your neighborhood. And yeah. I had, I had Mexicans yeah. do it. God bless. And you have. We were Kelly and I were noticing as we were coming to your house the other night. It's cute, 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 cute. I mean, the houses in your neighborhood are so cute. Mm-hmm. So it, yeah, someone's coming along and putting the money, gentrifying them. Yeah. Sure. Which I suppose maybe in a neighborhood like San Francisco, like we heard, or Brooklyn, maybe. And I think it it's happened, hard because yeah. it's so much more expensive. Like we're not gentr. Our neighborhoods aren't gentrifying us out of homes. They're gentrifying right. some people out of homes. Sure. Yeah. But it's the people I don't want in my neighborhood, <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> it's not that all bad. You're a racist, Katie. Well, You're a racist. If you think about it, like the um, the the one that I noticed it the most in was um, Hillcrest in San Diego, because mm. Hillcrest used to be like small businesses, fabulous gayness, like on every corner, and then all of a sudden it was like corporate America, straight people with strollers and chain mm-hmm. restaurants, yeah. and everything was like it lost all of its local Charm. color. And then it was gay people pushing their stroller that were like, we live with the, you know, I mean, uh, straight people with their stroller. Like, we live with the gays. Look at them over there. They make us cool. And it, yeah. just, it had this, the last time I was there, it had the ickiest feeling to mm, me of that's like, horrible. where did the gays go? Yeah. Like, when did the gays go? Well, and it's even oh, like, good gays gone. gone. It's yeah. even the uh, <laughs> corner in, in Phoenix, there's a neighborhood called, called Willow. And um, mm-hmm. there's a big, it's one of the big, Seventh uh, Avenue mm-hmm. and McDowell, big corner here, right off the freeway. Everyone knows, and it used to be my florist cafe yeah. and a couple of little shops and like a bakery and all these other things. And it was, I mean, I that I don't know if I call that gentrifying the neighborhood. No, that's that's just, just straight corporate takeover mm-hmm. yeah, right. because it's no longer any local little places. Now it's a Habitat Burger and a Pop Belly restaurant and, and a and fucking and- T-Mobile right. on the corner. Yeah. And you know who owns that corner is um, in Payway and Starbucks. It's like every part of the evil empire. The only part of that right. corner that's actually homegrown is the uh, sidebar. Sidebar. You're that's right. the only one that's there that's really. And there's a strut. There's a plus size women's uh, bridal shop, which oh, is yeah. which is out there, which is so cool. Look, lost amongst there is the is the is the lone <laughs> bridal shop and community florist and community florist yeah. that were open during the construction of all that. Yeah. And then it's a gas station, right? Isn't isn't corner four a gas station? One of station? the corners, but that has been there for a while. Yeah. But the um, would you know this? You know they're shaking North in their boots. West. Who's yeah. our Who's our really super lovely attorney general? I, his name is escaping me. He's beautiful. Good man. Nope, just kidding. No, He's actually I didn't horrible. Think so. Horn? I, I feel like it's Tom, uh, Tom Horn. Tom, yeah. Horn. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Horn. I think it's Tom Horn that, that owns I get a that. Point for that. I'm really impressed with that. I'm I think shocked. it's Yeah, good job. I think I it's him that say, owns that corner. I was like, um, and then I thought, no. I Which was wrong. so sad. As soon as I knew, so, well, I, I think but, it's Tom Horn. Yeah. But it's sick that he, you know, you're just getting in the money. Sure. Um, okay, so Jared Leto, we, right? We all loved him. Oh, except for there was one comment about that speech. What, uh, as the apparently actively um, dying, dying people uh, of AIDS. Which was so weird. He Does goes, not who like all that? here is actively dying of AIDS? And I was like, oh, not me. Not me. <laughs> yeah. Not me at all. No, and, and I'm, I'm not laughing. I was just very confused that he did not like the speech. Right. And then said that he was expected, uh, more was expected of Jared Leto. Because of a speech he had made, what was that about? Well, I mean, he they they both got taken to task for their speeches at the Golden Globes that they were a little light on thanking the community that they were portraying and okay. stuff like that. I and hadn't then, heard that. And then okay. they fixed it at the um, at the Screen Actors Guild. They Sorry, both words. kind of mm-hmm. acknowledged well, that you know you're playing real people that have died and like yeah. you're getting a lot of glory for someone suffering. Sure. So, and I th- I thought. I thought his speech was really nice lovely. about his mom. It was nice about his career and being welcomed back I after thought it was a great speech, after yeah. hiding. And I and I, he said, "I stand with you." Yeah, I stand gay here. community, LGBT community. I stand here um, as an advocate and an ally. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. I and stand up for you. Like mm-hmm. what more? What what, what more do you, you say? Yeah. It was because he didn't specifically thank the transgender community that people are really feeling upset, oh. and they're saying. Um, you know, Jared Leto gets a prestigious award and status for his role as in trans face, but many trans women of color are struggling to stay alive. These are all tweets. A uh, trans actor, tr- actress out there who could have brought real dignity to that role. She's shaking her head right now. Um, after taking a role that's been played, that could have been played by a trans woman, 
mentioning them was kind of the least you could have done. Sigh, hashtag sigh. Yeah, and, and that, that was, that was well, a big complaint in the casting was to not higher now that Laverne is her name Cox Laverne, Laverne, Laverne Cox, Cox. Uh-huh. there's there's different actors and actresses working in their in their transformation process and or I, think he, right. he, I think he I'm not trans mm. right I, but I uh, feel like I know that's news to Surprise. all of us Katie you mentoring mm. but I feel and I think I'm in this I'm sad but I will say I think I'm in the Pierce Morgan boat where I feel like I'm an ally and an advocate for the trans community, mm-hmm. but I'm probably doing it wrong. Right, yeah, and sure. I don't know that I'm doing I, it wrong. I would agree with you on that yeah. one too, but uh, but I don't know. I, I don't, don't know, know how wh- to fix it. I don't yeah. know what I'm doing wrong, but I would say I'm probably not yeah. doing it right. And I, I, but I feel like he brought such realness right. and authenticity and emotion to he that role. He certainly wasn't making fun of it. it he was it was very raw, <laughs> right? and I feel like he really embraced that role. And I mean, he is an actor, and yes, Laverne Cox is an actress, and that's right. and mm-hmm. great, but. You can't just pull, just because someone is a trans woman, you can't just pull them off the street and say, here, go star in this major blockbuster role. Right. Like, it just doesn't. Well, but it couldn't, and maybe it was, like and maybe it was, and I'm, I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the same idea for Philadelphia. Couldn't someone have said yes. that a, a gay man should have been playing that yeah. role rather a than A gay man Tom with Hanks? HIV, maybe. Correct. Right, right. But and there's, that, there's and all I'm these sure, caveats, but it's called acting. and. Right. And, and Tom Hanks did. They made, uh, they made go, the movie on no money. Yeah, they had to have somebody who could afford to go and work on a for shoot nothing. and work yeah. for you know not for a lot of there's there's no money involved in this until yeah. maybe afterwards or when they got d- distribution or something. But. I I just thought that he was so great for the role. Um, you know, and I I think people are upset a little bit that he didn't mention, and also just upset at the casting process in general. That's what more of the kind of craziness is about. Is like. Let's hire a trans actress. But mm-hmm. anyhow, I I thought he was lovely. I know we all in this room agreed. He was he just was gorgeous. And who also. knew that an orange was the new black? Like I didn't know that. Laverne I didn't Cox... know she was trans yeah, at all. At all. No. Uh-uh. So it... and the same thing until with, she uh, came out. You know uh, the beautiful woman Janet Mock. Thank you. I mean for real. I saw she's the one on Pierce Morgan who was <laughs> yeah. taking a big yeah. task in regards yeah. to that stuff. Amazing. It's the end of hour two. We have one more hour to go. Katie's in the middle of sports and other stuff. We will continue to talk about whatever the hell we want to talk about. If you're in the chat room with us still, thanks. Throw a question out. Maybe we'll answer it. Maybe we won't. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> Do you Co- mentor it? Coming up, thoughtful vulgarity, more drinking, more analysis on life in general from Now, Katie's joined us. Katie, Marnie, Al, and myself. It's the show on Q Talk America. We'll be back in mere moments. Well, in fact, just like two moments, and then (laughs) we just start again. It's real. It's simple. We'll see you in a minute. You've been listening to the show on Q Talk America. This is Q Talk America. The following broadcast contains adult humor, language, and topics, along with partial nudity. Actual knowledge is used sparingly. The show is a result of a lost bet and a bad game of rock, paper, scissors. It's the show with Clayton McKee. And now, a man with a face for radio, Clayton McKee. Well, hello once again. We are coming to you live from Studio C. On a, uh, well, it's a Monday. Fat Tuesday. Is it's it a Monday? Monday? No, I said earlier, Katie, I fucked oh, up, but I said okay. it was Monday. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> it's Fat Tuesday. We haven't even mentioned that it's Fat Tuesday for the fat those Tuesday. celebrating the yeah. Mardi, Gras. Mardi Gras stuff, which I'm going to go do, I guess, when I'm done with this. I don't give a shit. But <laughs> <laughs> I watched uh, Kathy Lee and Hoda today, and Kathy, oh. Kathy oh, Lee I'm was sure off. they celebrated. That's fantastic. I forget. Hoda's from New Orleans. She is from oh, there. I didn't know that. So one of her first live uh, on-air jobs, like her first day, they send her out on Bourbon Street, and she's drinking on air, and she thinks she's going to be fired the next day, and everybody comes in and they're like, oh, wonderful, live <laughs> shot. That was fantastic. <laughs> they're like re-racking the, pl- the clip Wait. and showing her, and she gets lifted up by some moss guy. And she's oh, gonna, she goes, I, th- I thought I was going to be fired the next day. But look well, at this. Ju- it's led to a lustrous career. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. I'm drinking on national <laughs> yes, TV. every morning. Every morning, not That's just. Fantastic. No, and she's sitting next to Jenna Booth. Jenna Booth. Jenna Bush is who she's sitting yeah. next to. And she's probably like, drinking wine too. Well, mm. I, I think or Jenna. Line. I don't think. I think Jenna kind of stays. <laughs> the thing. But they, you know, the thing where the, they bake the cake and you have to find the baby oh, in the cake. Oh yeah, yes. The little, the little doll. <laughs> yes. yes. What just happened? Just the descriptions it's the baby. of the show. No. <laughs> 
just make it sound like an SNL what? sketch. It so, does. What? No, but it's something. I don't know the tradition. They bake it's some. It's called the king. king's cake or something. Oh yes, and they find they they put a little baby doll, a little tiny plastic baby oh, in the cake. Oh, that is from Mardi Gras. In, yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. New Orleans it's thing. And it just so happened that so in this morning, so Hody and Jenna were there and. They're like, we've got to find the baby. So they, they both take the opposite corners of this cake. Wow. Well, Jenna happens to find it, and it's got, like, icing on it. So Jenna just puts the baby in her mouth, and Hoda's like, what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, well, I just was eating the icing off the head of the baby. And Hoda's just looking at her. So then what does she do? She oh, sticks God. it back in the cake, and Hoda's like, <laughs> now what are you doing, doing now? <laughs> she goes, well, the baby wants to be back in the cake. And she goes, you just told me you were feeling ill this morning. <laughs> Nobody's gonna eat this. She goes, well, nobody can eat this part of the cake. <laughs> oh no, that's funny. Well, you know, f- famously caught drinking underage, Jenna, yes. Jenna, yes. and Lauren. Yes. They were the twins at mm-hmm. one point. Yes. yes. That's so, I what happened to the other sister? I wonder. She's married, and I want to say writing books. One of them's a writer, and one of them's uh, like a correspondent. Oh, on the Today She's on yeah, the Jenna Today Show. Yeah, Jenna. Jenna. Yeah, yeah. And then, but there's Lauren, but her her married name is is Lauren too. So she's like Lauren Bush Lauren. Oh, oh that's so funny. I my my roommate in college, her name was Kelly Ross. She married a guy named Ryan Kelly, and her name is legitimately spelled the same. Kelly Kelly. Kelly. Kelly Kelly. Oh wow! Yeah, I just, and so I she went by change it to K squared. She went by Kelly Ross Kelly. She hyphenated her last okay. name. She's divorced now, so it doesn't matter. But but Kelly Ross. Was, yes. She lost to Kelly. But it was she did. She lost the whole Kelly. Yep. <laughs> but it was really fun when she got married, and we were all excited that her name was Kelly Kelly. Kelly Kelly KK. Like KK. Um, you were you you're, you're KJ, and she was KK. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's continue true. on with sports. So my dear. I just have to go back really quickly back to my boyfriend Jared Leto, who just was <laughs> gug gu- gu- gorgeous yeah. at the Pretty Oscars. boy. Can't get we are, yeah. we are not lying. Yeah. But every time I look at him, I can't help but think back to one of my favorite movies and yours, I'm sure, Requiem for a Dream. Oh, yeah. And all I can I think about that. is his like super crazy heroin crack ass, like losing an arm and just being on drugs and just being crazy. Sure. But it is such a good movie. I can't stand it. And this again is what I couldn't remember. Like when I walked out of that movie theater and I'm like, Jared Leto. The name is so familiar. Sure. So I got. I thought it was from the Shia LaBeouf. Um, uh, what's the What's the little hottie from the the Mouseketeer? The um, I don't know. The uh, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. No, younger than a that. He's the one that's in the High School Musical. Oh, Zac Efron. Zac Efron. Like I thought he was from that school okay. of like what the hell's going on. So I was baffled. I'm like, is this some 20 year old that I've just lost track of? Mm. Is Wait, he the kid? Um, is he the kid from about a boy? Like when you saw the, him, where were you baffled? In Dallas Fires Club. Oh, I'm like, where in okay. the teen oh, spectrum of like he's way recent, yeah yeah like just recently mm-hmm. reached his 20s? Have I lost this kid? So Doug's cracking up. Doug's like, uh, go home and I am DM. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, it says he's 42. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, first off, yeah. I thought he was 19, 20 sure. years old in the movie. And then I'm like, yeah. he's oh, he's in the looking. Fight Club. Mm-hmm. He's in Requiem for it. Like, yeah. he was in all these movies I loved. And I'm Requiem like, was so good. And Kelly was obsessed with uh, My So-Called Life. So she was so right. excited for him. And yeah. then I'm like, wait a minute. He was the teenager 75,000 mm-hmm. years ago. I was, yeah. I was well, absolutely Needless to say, he's yeah. gorgeous and I love him and I love everything he does. Right. So <laughs> moving right along to some actual sports. The Nets, this is a very exciting for Jason Collins. They signed him to another 10-day mm-hmm. contract just yesterday. Um, what is the, but wait a minute. I it's for an injured player. He's yeah. just, he's just, oh, he's yeah. still, okay, because I'm like, shit, I'm going to And because of that, he did the jersey with 98 right, right. on it okay, for Matthew it. Shepard. Yeah. Uh, uh, and all of the, am I going in? 98? Shirt? No, was it 98? Mm-hmm. Wasn't it for the year that he was found? The year that oh, he was killed. Okay, I'm uh-huh. sorry. I thought it was a different number for some. Okay, no, yes, no, you're but, right. but so the 98 <clears throat> jerseys, am I going into? No, no, no. I uh, were, are being sold, and I guess, like, Sold out. Off the shelves. Yeah. Sold, Sold out. out. And all of the money, at first it was going to just be an, a percentage of or something like this. Now all of the money is going to the Matthew Shepard Foundation. Wow. What I understand. Cool. And yeah. Wow. Well, so I, 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 Jason Barbara, Collins. Barbara said something, Barbara Savelle said something about, um, you know, at first I thought that it was a little pricey. You know, the the jerseys were a little much. Because they're, they're over $100. Mm-hmm. But, okay. uh, but any NFL, NBA, big anything like that jersey is going to Well, be. a big timer, which they were surprised yeah. because he's not a... But an authentic jersey yeah. is going to be that, whether yeah, I guess you're right. a big time player or not. Sure. Um, and they just normally don't make them for the smaller 
time players. Uh, anyway, all the money, I guess, now it's changed is going to go to the Matthew Shepard Foundation. Gotcha. Very so really fantastic. cool. Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. Um, so they sign him for the, another 10 days. It actually happens tomorrow. Um, is when they the re-sign up for the contract. Uh, after right. that, the Nets would have to sign him on for the rest of the season if they wanted oh. to keep him. So. Wow, okay. So you, it's yeah. a third strike and you, okay. you, you're yeah. owning it. You, for get, a, a you get once, you get twice. If you sign him again, it's yeah. uh, it's full time. Um, he played in the final two minutes, 41 seconds of the Nets' uh, 96-80 victory over Chicago on Monday. You got a standing ovation from the sellout crowd wow. of over 17,000, almost 18,000, that included former NBA commissioner Commissioner David Stern when he entered when he entered the game for the first time um, he missed his only shot though oh. also so wah, wah. crap's a yeah. loser but, but he's, I love that expression he said it was crap's cool it was a loser. lot of fun to go in the game the most important thing was that we got the win um, he had said before the game he wasn't aware of any deal he was kind of leaving it all up to his uh, agent mm-hmm. um, but the coach said that he had a great effort on mm-hmm. and off the court and they're really excited about him. That's so, great. and they're certainly excited for the publicity Absolutely. that he's bringing. And it's good publicity. Good. Yeah. I mean, really that, positive. Yeah. And he's selling merch. I mean, he's like I mean, bringing publicity. And he's raising for charity. He's giving like, money to charity. Yeah. Yeah, not he, a lot of people are Nets fans. He is no, definitely and like without trying it the to be right rude. way. No, he, he, he's well, playing like, it the right way. Natalie Cianciola. Definitely not a Nets fan. I don't even okay. know if she's like a basketball fan. Right. And she certainly she's is not a lesbian. The Nets. Of course she is. Well, it's just questionable. She's more of like a teeny bopper. Well, that's true. WNBA. Well, no, I'm thinking like actually like Taylor <laughs> Swift and like oh, she's like okay. a, a teen pop star, yeah. not really like okay. a sports star, but she I love it. It already bought the, the jersey. Like she was Same. on a waiting list for wow. the jersey because cool. she just, you know, really wanted to. So it's like totally really reaching out to a lot of different populations yeah. that wouldn't necessarily buy the merch and support the team. And it's very cool to see yeah. what positive things that the gay community can rally behind and um, really be supportive of yeah. him. So it's exciting. So I don't know. Oh, if, can I, I have to interrupt you just for a yeah. second. The money goes to the Matthew Shepard Foundation and the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network. Oh, mm. good. So it's split okay. between two Glisten. charities. Okay. Glisten. And Glisten. There's yeah. some, Glis- oh, and what? Glisten. Glisten. Gay, spelled G-L-S-E-N. Glisten. Oh, no, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it, it would say glisten. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you don't follow any rules of pronunciation. No, but that's what <laughs> they, they call don't. It. Yeah. <laughs> correct, I'm like, correct. okay, that's not where I would have got of it. But there's a really nice picture of him with Matthew Shepard's mom and dad. And I want to say that... Is Matthew Shepard's mom's name Judy? Yes. yes. Judy Shepard. Yeah. Uh-huh. So there's a, there's a really cool picture of him with the... With the um, Judy, Judy, and Judy. And he tweeted the picture of meeting the parents and everything. God, damn it. God he's so oh. fucking tall. And Compared I mean. how hashtag blessed he was, which I think is probably my, my new. favorite. <laughs> absolutely. Hashtag Oscars 2014, hashtag blessed. Blessed, blessed, yeah. <laughs> that is probably the, like, that is the douchebag, the douchiest thing to say now to me, as far as I'm concerned. Hashtag, hashtag blessed. blessed, yeah. It is so funny. I just, I just want to kick I actually teeth. used it in conversation this morning when I was talking about an annoying friend who always talks about like hashtag family, hashtag blessed. And I, I do hashtag family, but I've never done hashtag blessed. Maybe now I will just to spite You were talking to somebody in hashtags? No, I, <laughs> no I'm sorry. That's what I that wanted was a, no. breakfast. I was really? talking with someone this morning about how my friend always goes on okay. and writes all these things. I thought we were going to have a meeting with no, you. Or something. And I was saying she's so annoying. She always does this stuff. But then I was, but then I was also laughing because in that same conversation, I specifically used hashtag blast for something, and my friend Jill was laughing. She's Wasn't like, "Wasn't oh that my what gosh. you you did that um, for the Oscar thing?" Yeah. Yes, I did. But hashtag, you did something. Hashtag retweet. Right, hashtag right, right. Oscars 2014. Yeah, I did it twice. I didn't intend to, to do two different tweets. But. Oh, I understand that. No, but then I somebody somebody at the Oscars That's did why, it. Right. That's and why I thought that you had done yes, that. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, I retweeted Ellen's pick. Yeah. yeah. But whatever whatever it was. Ellen did that. Oh, no, no, right. That's why I started making yeah. fun of it because she yeah. gave it the right And she tone. said, hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed because she made it sound as douchey <laughs> as it is. As it, sounds. as it actually is. We're yeah. blessed. Yeah, we're yeah. blessed. She's hashtag so blessed. She was so Because awesome. it's always a picture of some really fat girl with an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag blessed. No, you're hashtag just Hashtag Friday night. <laughs> yeah. Sad. Hashtag sad pants. Yeah. With a cock in her yeah. mouth. Hashtag oh, blessed. Oh, <laughs> I got Good. some. I called 911. Okay, so. <laughs> you guys have to hear this, right? I don't know if you saw Paula Kramer means anything to you, okay? Mm-hmm. She's an LPGA oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Uh, champion. Um, she sank 
this is stupid. And you just have to really see it to really appreciate it. A 75 foot eagle putt off the second on the second playoff hole against someone who else doesn't who doesn't matter to win the <laughs> HSBC so came in second. <laughs> Women's Champion. I also can't pronounce it. Women's <laughs> Championships on Sunday for her first LPGA title since the 2010 Women's Open. So here's what the deal is. So she's on the green and I could read this whole thing, but you she goes in for a putt, which she for sure thought was going to be two shots because she's way the fuck over here and the hole is way the fuck over there. And the way yeah. that she, this is really, it really makes you think about how in tune golfers are with their greens and with their angles. And I mean, this is not just going up. This is not the way I golf, which is just like, please God, I hope I hit the ball. This is like <laughs> really. The way I do. By the beer cart in the, yeah, like the little. Sitting on the beer cart. Yeah, right. Driving the little car. Yep. This is really calculated. It was awesome to watch. So she shoots the she hits shoots she hits a putt, and this putt goes all the way. I mean, you're thinking until the like very forever. last yeah. second that it is not going in, and it's going the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is like going away from the hole. Sure. But she knew exactly where the green cut, and it goes, and it cuts at exactly the right spot and dumps into the <laughs> oh, wow. into the hole. Done. It was. Amazing. And she's like jumping for joy. And then just fell down. And fell down onto the <laughs> ground because she had just won. Now that's a shit when I watch nine hours of golf and I'm home in right. New York. Yeah. yeah. And being oh, tortured right. against my will. That's the kind of shit yeah. I wait for. Yeah. And that's the kind yeah. of stuff that just is about to happen. My sister would be like, oh, we're going to eat. Turn off the TV. <laughs> no. I've been watching this boring crock of shit. Yeah. Dump. Just to see something good What's for our hours. Jumanji? Jumanjulate. Ju- 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 Huh? She mandulate <laughs> with my left hand. Thank you. What? I don't know what happened. I was responding to something. <laughs> but it, it always it always cracks Al's up. Al's Yeah, I'm demandulating. Oh, with his left hand. About, <laughs> about my hatred of golf. But when I finally get into it, but they want to something change exciting is about to know. My sister's like, oh, no, we got to eat. Fuck you! <laughs> and they it's have the remote for nine hours, hours. Yeah. and they have the remote. I've what? been ready. I'm trying oh. to make conversation with these people. that are going to talk about golf. I'm studying. Well, don't turn it off just when something was about to happen. So, and if you're interesting, check this out. Paula Kramer. I could put it on our Facebook. It's very, very cool. <laughs> well, it is cool. It's cool to watch her sink that. Win- it was the game, the match, match. Tournament. tournament, tournament winning putt. So very exciting. So Richard Sherman back in the news. We remember Richard Sherman from the Seahawks, right? That's yep. right. Yep. Okay. Cornerback. Oh, wait, but he's um, a good cor- guy. Turnback. Cornerback. Yes. Cornerback. Um, not everyone trash thinks talker, that he chooses right? carefully. Yeah, he is undeniably someone who thinks seriously about language. Uh, he majored in communications, which I think most football players do. Like yeah. comms, I'm gonna just major in communication <laughs> at Stanford. Oh shit, I didn't yeah. realize that. Oh yeah, um, which he was still majoring in comms. Um, <laughs> listen, I majored in comms also, but when you're a football player majoring in comms from Stanford, come um, fucking actually, on. Can you, can you spell was, um, that, please? He was second in his class. Shut uh, up. And he was uh, four, like point four away from um, graduating first, and well. he was pissed about that. Uh, everything was pushed for him and mate school. and checkmate. And he I he that buses up. everyone in because he was from Compton, and he buses kids in from Compton to to go up okay, well, to Stanford so that they can check yeah. it out and see a life that they sure. wouldn't have. So I feel like a yeah. gigantic no, asshole. He, no, no, no. You know, By really, the way, guess who mocked the co commercial? So no, nothing. <laughs> everything is fine. <laughs> We're all, I just I just want to throw it out because that's I actually the really same cool, thing. Marnie. I had no it was idea. Really amazing. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. Um, but he, a- he says that uh, he's shocked at the proposed ban against the N-word that's being yeah. considered by the NFL. He says it's an atrocious idea. Negotiation? Is that the word? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's atrocious that that's they would think of negotiating. Uh, he that's says the thought that, of it. The thought of it. He says it's almost racist to me. He says, it's weird that they're targeting this one specific word. Why wouldn't all words be banned then? Because not all words are that word. Or all curse words. Excuse me. Why wouldn't all curse words be banned? A rule prohibiting um, players <laughs> from using the N-word during games has pin- been promoted by the Fritz Pollard Alliance, a group that monitors there racial diversity and equality of job opportunity in F- NFL. There is nothing that screams black like Fritz Pollard. Yeah. 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 The, Fritz, yeah, yeah, yeah. the FPA, Fritz Pollard Alliance. <laughs> what? Exactly. I mean, Come it, on. It, 
FUPA. <laughs> They're saying, okay, so the <laughs> FPA, the Fritz Pollard Alliance, is saying, John Wooten, who's the oh, head of that. Of course he is. Wooten, Wooten, He says that they, I think they're going to do what needs to be done. There's just too much res- disrespect in the game. But Sherman, who's decried the word thug as the accepted uh, way of calling somebody the N-word nowadays, yeah. um, mm-hmm. said that this proposed, <laughs> it, the proposed ban is misguided. He said, I've got a big problem with this. So you're going to have a league with no black owners and a white commissioner, middle-aged advanced white men saying black players can't say the N-word on the field or we're going to penalize you. I've got a massive problem with that. I don't think it's going to happen. I know there are black men of the same age um, who is just, oh, apparently John Wooten is black. Uh, the- <laughs> this just in. We have breaking news. <laughs> Attention, John Wooten's wait, wait, family. We have breaking news. <laughs> Stand by. John Wooten. This, wait, 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 wait. Wait, we're not here. this is breaking news on You Talk America. We go live to Katie June. John Wooten of the Fritz Pollard Alliance is african-american that is breaking news we'll be back with more sports <laughs> right after this from katie june <laughs> after we all Who recover from black. the shot katie back to you <laughs> i'm gonna you. bet you my ass and Fritz now is not a, probably a not but, in a bikini. but he says <laughs> he's gotta understand this <laughs> I'm sorry. We go live to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa. <laughs> the airlines of fuck you now. Yeah. Or oh, fuck you later. Or oh, fuck you later. Oh. This has been banned. So anyway, and word in the NFL. It's happening, people. Yeah. What do you think, though? I mean, because if, if I think you, it's un, I think it's un. Regulatable, Re- and unrealistic, yeah. stupid. Yeah. Spell John Wooden's name. <laughs> John W O O T E N A C K Wooten. I think. Oh, is I there think a T? W O O T E N. Ah, uh, the guy that I looked up was dead. <laughs> and, and white. In breaking news. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you need no, to do? No, but I mean, like, say, I I agree. Like, how if flags are going to be like what? The game is going to last twenty four hours because flags are going to be flying all over the place. What? And do you give that a five yard penalty? You gotta, and then you got to give it, is like, it a fine. Right? Is it the t- is it the tone that they're using? You is know it I mean? a black person to a black person? Or because is, where? is it a That's, white guy? Is it is it A versus E R? The, no, there's no, I, I can't dif- I can't or, differentiate on that one because somebody mm, tried to or, do it on this show <laughs> and I wanted to run screaming from the room. Yeah. I am so yeah. glad I was gone oh, on that night. Yeah, but had you not been, um, <laughs> I just I can't handle Kelly's Kelly's stepfather. Yeah, you were talking. You, about, yeah, you were used talking it about once, them. and I wasn't there, yeah. and it was in reference to the oh president elect at the time. Mm-hmm. I don't think he'd been elected at the time, and um, I missed the family dinner. And thank yeah. fucking god, yeah. because Kel- even Kelly was like, I just you would have. I feel like you would have gone through the roof. Sure. Like I, I wouldn't have been able to keep my. Composure. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What using that word like legitimately? It would be like walking into Charlie's and telling people that they couldn't use the f word, right? Like looking at each other and or as, as, homo or queen right, exactly. or queer. You hey, you girl. queen, <laughs> right? You know whatever it is. But but, but, but you know that's who's all part of tra- that? You know it's all part of trash talk. Of course it is. But look at um who's white boy down in um uh, Miami. Oh, uh, Richie Incognito. Incognito. So he was a black guy, according to him, uh, he, he, him and teammates. They said he was an honorary black guy that just beat up his car. Did you see that? No, he beat up his car. Yeah, wasn't he it did? in Scottsdale? No, Richie I don't Incognito. Think about this. Oh, let's Google. Google. Let's Google. I thought that was gonna be part of your news. Richie Incognito takes what? on a car. Come on. But you didn't fuck it. All right. <laughs> I'll I'll Google for you, darling. You keep up. Okay. She's humanity. still typing. She can't stop typing. I can't. All the humanity. <laughs> the humanity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turns out Richie Cog- Incognito's Ferrari got smashed up by Richie, Richie Incognito. Incognito. In the days before he reported. Oh, what? Wow. Skip. Hold on. I do not want to download the Miami Herald. No. I am offended by the question. In the days before he reportedly checked himself into an Arizona psychiatric <gasps> facility. What? Oh, my God. Richie my Incognito was calling some friends at odd something? hours, apparently after drinking and leaving messages about being followed by NFL and government investigators. What? He complained that his agent, California-based blah, 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 was actually a double agent helping the NFL end his career and adding he was going to track down, track Dunn down and fire him face to face. Oh, my oh. gosh. Dun, dun, and then dun. this from one as- associate who talked to Incognito before the former Dolphins offensive lineman uh, <laughs> apparently <laughs> took Offense. a baseball bat to his own oh. 295000 
dollar Ferrari FF. Fucking faggot, right? No, <laughs> not so much. Maybe. Maybe not according to him. Yeah. Okay. No, he was yeah, never saying that. And all he does is work out during the day and get drunk every night. The way things have been going lately, I keep expecting to hear the worst. Said someone who's quoted here, and I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, this is from his from an associate who talked to Incognito. I'm like, um, this is just in quotes about nobody. If it's in Scottsdale, I'm going to assume it's at Mom's uh, Scottsdale Behavioral Health. <clears throat> oh, so I didn't give you the Banner whole quote. Banner Behavioral Health. What is the way. whole quote? The whole quote is is from his from uh, this from his one associate associate who talked to him before he took the baseball bat. Here's his quote: He's in Arizona now, and all he does is work out during the day and get drunk every night. The way things have been going lately, I keep expecting to hear the worst. Continue quote. You media guys talk about where he's going to be playing next season. I wonder if he's going to be alive next season. Oh, wow. This is from. Oh. Now, this is well from, done, Jumanji. This is one of, um, from one of the um, very famous Miami Herald unnamed, unnamed. sources. That's right. That's probably he's a, also a probably known a associate. Right. <laughs> incognito. A, I'm looking at a picture of it. He remains what? incognito. I'm we looking at a know. picture of the car that he busted up, and it's like talking about his life is really in shambles. Yeah. And someone's comment is. Pfft, Ugliest Ferrari ever. Oh, <laughs> nice. There you go. Focus yeah. on the real problem. I know. The car was ugly. Your car is stupid. <laughs> He's doing it a favor. Well, it was for the insurance money. But, I mean, you paid $295,000 for an ugly car. <laughs> Joke's on you. Right, dumbass. There oh. you have it. At least get in a pretty color. Something. Although I, I, Green with a CD player. I, exactly. <laughs> now, I did see a picture of the, and I thought that you were going to have this in there, because one of you two sent it to me. What? Sent no, me the link. not me. But not they me. showed not it, not it, not they it. showed the post baseball bat car, Ooh. and my first thought was, God, I hope he didn't pay a lot for that because that car's not very. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> it I don't. Like a, it looks like a bug. Clearly. Oh yeah, bash his own fur with a bat. No, I, I haven't seen the picture. No. Oh yeah, no. Here it is. Oh. Not cute. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, a, it's not a great car. He's well, a, now that it has baseball holes no. in the yeah. top of it, baseball no. bat holes. It's a collector's item now. Yeah. Well, one of a kind. Exactly. There's a uh, one of the. <laughs> In obviously it got beat up by crazy. Other, um, Jared Allen has a thing down here who plays for the Minnesota Vikings. He has well, he has a bar in Scottsdale, but he also has kind of a big workout uh, off season. This is where he goes, and uh, because of the lack I of polar do, vortex, I'm imagining. There you have mm. it. And I don't remember. Oh there are a God. lot of big Sorry, names. Excuse me. Vortex. <laughs> Did you think you were alone, Kim? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Did you close your eyes and imagine we all weren't here for a minute? I was a humanity. I feel, I feel dirty. <laughs> You like a sandy, I feel peed upon. Would you like heart. a sandy hand to have a whole bunch of sandy hands? I do. I want a sandy hands my whole body after that. It came in through my ear. <laughs> Where will it go out? I don't want to know. Sandy oh. hands are for the mess. Hey, oh. I'm going to actually do a little Sandy yeah. hands. Maybe right me now. too. Just so that we can clean up before thoughtful vulgarity. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I don't even know what that sound is. I don't either. Mm. either. It's kind of scary, man. <laughs> but it's one of those things that when it, when it arrives in your ear, you're like, oh. I feel like the more sad part is that it. I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> I didn't even hear the like the creepy noise. I was just like, yeah, that's normal. Yeah. Does anyone have a Q-tip? Um, I know. I know. Oh, there it is. Why I is that like, Clayton voice a normal I, thing for me? I'm I, like, have sure. I feel like the old man that paid me for sex just came. <laughs> oh. 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 And I can Looks finally like make my house payment. The perfume, <laughs> there you go. Well done. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks ah. like it's back to the I, I don't, know. I don't even know what that is. Dirty I have hooker, no dirty idea. Hooker. Dirty hooker. Oh. <laughs> Wait. You know what Kim Novak thinks. <laughs> oh. I'm, a, I'm a soprano. Kim mm. Novak thinks that's plastic surgery. <sighs> or at least filler. Something. All right, what more? Kimos. <laughs> and that's it in sports. Uh, no. uh, Al, I have a little bit of news for you. And oh, uh, First of all, tell me if you... I mean, oh, this voice. Funny. This voice means something to you, I know. Um, this one. Ladies and gentlemen... Betty Levin. So that guy, <laughs> so that guy. From, the, from Cleveland. He is from, no, no. Carl Castle. He is 79 years old. He has been an NPR news host for five decades. And uh, excuse me, after three decade career as a signature voice of the network's newscast, he then became uh, a voice of not only the show Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me on NPR. He also yeah. has always voiced the Kennedy Center honors All right. for them. Carl Castle is retiring. Oh, so I'm jobs available. I'm curious to know. Wait, can you play his voice again? I yeah. can because I know Carl Castle from Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. That's exactly.
exactly who he's from. So, Carl. Ladies and gentlemen, Betty Levette. Oh, I love his voice. Carl Castle, uh, which I always loved his voice too. But, um, but I remember the fir- one of the first times that I sat down with Al to watch the Kennedy Center Honors. I'm like. I know that voice. I know who, the one who just did all the announcing of it. So uh, interesting. Seventy nine. He's he's had over a five decade career in broadcasting. He's going to hang his hat up and and I guess just not do just any of die. that. So I'll be very curious to see this coming December. Yeah, who does who it? will be doing the new voiceovers for Kennedy Center Honors? And my mind. I'm went hoping s- it's Shadow Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kennedy <laughs> Center <laughs> Honors. <laughs> oh my God, Clayton, it should be you. Well, yeah, well I'm sure call. the Kennedys will call me right immediately. Yeah, and they literally. Should should Clayton, you, you should the send in best, best, yeah. best voice. You should send them yeah. something, no, ladies it, and gentlemen. Betty Levette. It's not the same. It's not yes, the same. it is. It yeah. is perfect. You are yeah. better than Carl Castle. I'll, I'll like it. Oh, that's very dun dun dun. Kind words indeed, oh, the ma'am. Gym man is Clayton, slightly younger. I'm than gonna him. record you on this show. I'll pick out the best clips. Although I don't know how to edit. So, <laughs> yeah. well, not just that, but Al it's talks be three all the time. I don't know how to do that. Would you use? I would use any clips from the the show of the late December called. Carol uh, Channing. Man Friend and other stuff <laughs> where, where Carol, Carol Channing, Channing made a stunning appearance. <laughs> For the whole show. Yes. Shocking. Hey, shocking. <laughs> yes. I um, want you to audition. But I'm going to figure you, out how to do it. Have you followed the very sensory... Well, two things. The first is I thought that was mm. the guy in the opening of um, uh, Divine yes. Madness. No... I can't remember if it's the opening of Divine Madness or the opening for Live at Last where the, the, the guy who's in charge of the ushers talks about Betty Midler is about to come on and play and he hopes that they'll be very respectful because somebody that was played the week before had had used some rough language <laughs> and now they had a lady amongst them and he was Betty really Midler? hoping. Betty Midler. Betty, Betty Midler. Who is this? It's the head of the ushers and as the, oh, as the show opens they show him and somebody films him telling the... Um, you know the ushers to be very respectful because they have a lady and he's very upset about last week's performers <laughs> blue language and everything and then Bette Midler is just this filthy sure. filthy woman who gets out there and sings about her tits and it just cracks me up and here's this old old man but he calls her Betty one. Midler but her name really is Betty because she's named <clears throat> her mom loved Betty Davis uh, and she was named and it's spelled like Betty Davis everybody just called her Betty but her mom because she they weren't on TV there was no TVs. She thought her name was pronounced Bette Davis uh, by the way it was spelled. So she didn't find out till later with hearing her name on the radio or on TV that she, uh, was, she had been pronouncing it long, wrong the entire time. Uh, didn't but realize she that was supposed to be named after Betty Davis. She just never Betty. heard it said out loud. So they're spelled the same. Interesting. Well, I'm yeah. glad it's Bette. See? And then, um, have you heard the sad, sad story about um, no, Casey Kasem? I his, have. Um, oh. His, oh, yeah. Now, he, the woman who played Louis. from Cheers, who played uh, Carla's ex-husband's wife. Right. Eddie's? Jean, Eddie? Jean, no, no, no. Gene Kasem. Gene Kasem was... The blonde um, bimbo character of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Had the real high okay. voice. Yeah. 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 That was Casey yeah. Kasem's Jean second Kasem. wife. Okay. And I, I guess here, yeah. they have one child together, and mm-hmm. then he has his children from his first marriage. Yeah, a son and, and daughter. And now he has Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. I, th- he, either or one. I can look it up. He's suffering from something, and he's... I don't think he has Lou Gehrig's. No? Okay. But no. you could be right. I thought it was something like very... Uh, affecting his speech big time and and all of that. So and I, I can't remember which, but yeah. she is. There. He's got this total Anna Nicole Smith wife. Yeah. Well, but, kind of. But the the cool the interesting thing with her, she does a million voices. She's a, actually a voice actor, oh, and she, she used to work with Rick Dees years ago on the Rick Dees Weekly Top Forty, and did all of the crazy character voices on that show. Okay. And but, uh, but she been, is like twice his size. Oh yeah, she she's or a more. statue. She's he's like a tiny huge. little dude. Yeah, tiny little man. <laughs> tiny no, but he's not. Chill. I can't remember. Is he Palestinian? Oh, I can't yes. remember what national he is. Oh, yeah. But um, that cheek, those cheek implants are not. Can't yeah, go back. No one's friends. No. So he's dying of this disease and at oh. home, and there, there's a, a great battle going on between his first, the children from his first marriage and his mm-hmm. current wife and son, and the keeping everybody separate, and it's yeah, turned into a horrible tabloid she's story. A, yeah, and she's in charge. Yeah, and it's because she's the wife, and it's a horrible mm-hmm. story of everyone trying to get to see him, mm-hmm. but nobody. They're doing the Pharaoh, Allen thing where they're mm-hmm. just dragging it all through the. Yeah, it's yeah, amid, uh, amid uh, contempt, contempting charges of cruelty and neglect, and with an eighty million dollar fortune at stake, the American Top Forty is legends. Children tell why they have waged a war against their stepmother. 
for the right to visit their 81 year old mm-hmm. father who's frail with Parkinson's. It very, Parkinson's, Parkinson's okay. It's very sad. Yeah. Now, well, it reminded me of plights the 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 plight of gay folks to to a degree of not being able to you know people being able to say no you can't yeah who's you in can't ch- come who's in who's in and, charge and now that mm-hmm. there's real you know real gay marriage now the the gay husband or gay wife can That's now right. tell the parents no like, f- fuck off yeah. and for those of you who yeah. don't know uh, because obviously realize that we are of a certain age Casey Kasem for many many years did the American Top 40 he then handed that literally handed it on a silver platter to Ryan Seacrest who took over that mm-hmm. show for him also Casey but Kasem did Rick Dees do it for a long no, time Rick Dees has no, his own, his own. Oh, still has and his still own. does oh, okay, okay. the Rick Dees Weekly Top 40 is still okay. out there but uh, the American Top, Top 40, 40 was Casey's. Uh, he gave that to, like I said, Ryan Seacrest. He's in the weekly, weekly top 40. <laughs> now here's Dave. Yeah. Um, but then Casey also used to be on the uh, the MDA telethons. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, of course, Jerry. It was Ed McMahon. And then Casey Kasem was the other one who did all the tosses and would talk about, you know, the 7-Eleven this year, blah, 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 raising money. He would also do that. So oh, but every, it, well, and every the, Saturday and, afternoon, and I the listen. And the voice. The voice of Shaggy mm-hmm. on, oh, and the, on uh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo which is yeah. where a lot of his money actually voice. comes voice. from. But you yeah. can, if you uh, get... Uh, What's the the cable for your car that they always send me things and I don't get it? Sirius. Oh, so there's oh, Sirius, Sirius XM. XM. Sirius F- mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a 70 station, mm-hmm. and you can they listen re- to. They rebroadcast the entire America's yep. Top 40. Yep. You can hear the long distance the dedication. The long distance dedication. Yeah. Yeah. From, I was gonna oh say, I loved, yes, those. I loved those. I love those. And they always oh. announce. So reading, coming up yeah. this Saturday, we're doing this week in 1971. Casey oh. Kasem, and they literally go back and play. Sadly, they don't play the commercials because some of the commercials were even sure. were great too. Oh, yeah. But when you hear that, and it, like he talks about, just like if it was today's show, mm-hmm. you know, here's a long distance dedication from yeah. Casey and she's in the, or whatever. Yeah. And it's just kind of funny to hear that. But they also do that on. Oh, um, they were always tear jerking. Oh, oh, they yeah. were. Oh. And the way he read them. My oh, dog was so died. Full of yeah. He was so good. Yeah. I'm looking at some of this stuff with his uh, story. It's actually really sad because he had three kids, uh, three, three kids from his first marriage. And uh, Gene Kasem is appar- apparently really shutting them out. And he has a second child by his second marriage with Gene. Um, but that's really sad. They're just they're just saying, let us see our dad. Like, we just want to yeah. see our dad. We're not trying to steal your millions. Yeah. They were just on see our- Morgan. And it yeah, was, I did see that. Yeah. yeah. And there his, his son. It's a sad story of a family dynamic and the, the son with her. The son looks just like from the first marriage. From the first marriage. Looks and just the, like Casey But then Kasem. there's the younger son is saying that they upset they upset his dad. Oh, so there's too much. another two kids from the second marriage. I'm no, looking no. at a picture of Liberty, who's the daughter from his marriage. With oh, I Jean. thought there was a son too, but whoever it is, so maybe it's the daughter that talks about that they upset him so much, they get him all worked up, and how Liberty's playing the Pharaoh role. I mean, it's just it's mm. such these these things coming out are just like. God, his son does look so much oh, it's, like It's him. very Crazy. sad because his new Crazy. wife, I mean, I don't know. Apparently, It looks like they have actually been together for quite a long time. And they oh, they have. Say it's for not a new the, wife. Like no, it's not 30 new. 30 years if yeah, it's a I minute. Mean, I mean, I, they were already together in the late 80s. Yeah, they were because they have a little like five, six-year-old in 1996. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does anybody here remember what his closing line for uh, the, well, Katie probably won't. Keep but, reaching for the stars. Is that him? Keep your feet yeah. on the ground yeah. and keep, keep reaching, reaching for the, the stars. stars. I listen to it's every a lot fucking like Saturday. We'll see you next Tuesday. Similar. It's, it's similar. Keep your feet on the ground and get away from me, cunt. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly what I thought. So similar. I just I draw such comparisons. And I used to, my favorite things from being in the being a, a young kid in the summer was I would wear my little headphones like this that had yep. the antenna. <laughs> yeah. So I could listen to WKBW. I love and it. I would listen to all four hours of the mm-hmm. top forty mm-hmm. countdown. I was very curious where Donna Summer was going to land that day. Yeah. She was always on that show. And like all the, the trivia, it was <laughs> yeah, filled with like who held the longest awesome. note, who had the most top 10 hits. After this break. Oh my God. Like, it was what? So much yeah. to live for. But that was also something where you had the, the cassette player. Remember the, um, like the, you have one. Of course you do. Of course you do. Um, what, what, the, the dual cassette? No, the, it, just the, the long recorder. The boom box. Just put the one in. Mm-mm. Oh. Flat. Oh, yeah. The flat recorder. And it has the square speaker. It's like a rectangle. Oh, you're talking about just a regular single a tape cassette? Recorder. Yeah, tape, tape recorder. Yeah, yeah. Like tape recorder. And then you put the thing in. I and, actually don't have I one would, of those anymore. I, oh, see, what? you did. I have, When we were listening to Woody's tapes, um, you had one like so okay. a few years ago. All right. Anyway, we um, like I would put a tape in there and then I would wait for the song to come on. Yeah. That I wouldn't hear. And record yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I and remember. I wait, s- and wait. 
setting a recorder in front of the like, radio. Why did you keep talking? Right. You know, and, I, oh, and then yelling at everybody because it wasn't a direct link. <laughs> yeah. And my friend had yes, because I had so the funny. I had the cord to tape. You know, what I mean, I had the fancy stereo that oh. you could tape onto that without using that. But my friend that well, didn't, she would always make these handmade tapes that yeah. were like it was like seventh generation yeah. by the time she would get them all right. onto one tape right. and then she would write the names and i'm like what's that song mm-hmm. what's that song and she would never have the right the name, right for name. A song right. and one was one was i'm in heaven by Cher, and i'm like what the fuck is i'm in it was take me home but right. I'm, I'm in heaven, heaven. I'm I'm heaven. and it used to make me that's the one i remember oh, but i funny. still will call her once in a while and just say like i want to hear i'm in heaven by right. Cher. she's like stop making fun of those mixtapes <laughs> It's I like still it was have an idea in its infancy. With I just think that the the whole idea of the mixtape and the mixtape being gone makes me a little sad. Well, no, no that's the mixed CD. That's why when CD burners came around, yeah. making somebody a mixed CD, but and then I found I out that it. I don't really make songs to be about the person that I'm sending <laughs> just on their the way. Ones you like. I just send songs that I like. Yeah. So people always drive Miss away Inter- with completely wrong message <laughs> from me. Come on, everybody, do the conga. <laughs> 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 he yeah, must like really a, like me. It's, it's nope. like Avenue Q. <laughs> Yeah. Avenue Q, where, you know, he's like, she's like, what? Um, oh, I thought he liked like to me. me. Yeah, not by this mixtape. Oh, just... Why does this song say Shiver Me Timbers? Is one of us about to die? <laughs> Auto tits thing inventor. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. Does he need a bra? <laughs> Do you wear a tits thing or do you buy a Brazil? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, good times. I still have um, <laughs> some of the cassettes. I was like, uh, my boom boxes back in the day, mm-hmm. when you hit record, you didn't have any ambient noise. It was direct, we recorded the oh, radio nice. direct. But I still have some, like when you know, when uh, Stuck on You and Penny Lover oh, first came out yeah. back in the in the eighties. I yeah. have those. Who sings songs. that? Lionel, Lionel Richie. Oh. Richie. Oh. Remember when Lionel Richie didn't suck? Penny. He's I, going on tour again. By when the way, I was in elementary and school, I can't say that I would be opposed to going and seeing him at a casino or like a real stadium. But I, I honestly that I don't know. Okay. I'll I'll look that up. Okay. I think when I was in elementary level. school, yeah, uh, I was in like early elementary. And I, my parents, I think that was like one of the first tapes that I was like allowed to have. It was my only tape at the time. And I think it was safe because it was Lionel Richie. But I loved Dancing on the Ceiling. That was like my, like... Third grade anthem, that, that's and the I song would, that makes me and want to I throw myself to, off a building. Her, her, <laughs> and I, that was like her my third grade anthem. Yeah. It really was like so, so young. Cute. But I had like a little tiny radio because I wasn't obviously I was in third grade, sure. so I couldn't like rock the giant boombox. <laughs> right. But I used to hold my tiny, tiny, tiny pink tape player oh, on my it. shoulder like this, and I'd be dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, I'd walk oh, up and down the street, and I, so and I, funny. and the best part is, is that. Only kids in my neighborhood were boys, and they were probably just like, "What the fuck?" Because I was like, "Let's play!" Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, I was such a dork. I did that with um, uh, Cindy Lauper as well. Like, just because yeah. the, the, the uh, oh, don't, don't, do not get a oh Lionel God, Richie fucking song fantastic. stuck in my head. Oh, we have to. It just, oh. Stuck, stuck on, on you. There we are. Oh. That's when, I don't know Lionel that Richie. Lionel that's when Lionel dreams. Richie like turned the corner into like just shit them. Get into what? my car. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, it was yeah. not. Wait, it that's was not, not Lionel Billy Richie. Ocean. Oh, that's right. My it's bad. It's not Billy Ocean, another black guy. Because I can never forget how you go from like still and right. say yeah. la and oh no. And Wait, what's say la? I know that one. Easy they like Sunday morning. The line nope, just kidding. What's Brick House? Brick House is the comedy. She's a Brick House. Yeah, she's, she's a, a brick. brick. Oh, was he in the House. Commodores? House. House. Yes, he was lead singer. <laughs> Jesus. He was the lead singer of the... I know, I know. Oh, oh my God, you so might sad. have just... He smells toast. <laughs> no, it's... he was. Uh, uh, so um, you never knew Lionel Richie when he didn't suck. He didn't what? start sucking until he went... So my breaking I'm news. <laughs> we have breaking news from Q Talk America. We are going to go live to Al Perkins with this just in in regards to Lionel Richie's Lionel career. Lionel Richie, former Commodore. <laughs> Lead singer. Lead, Lead singer, singer of the Commodores. Do we have any tissues? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm, a, I'm a feared that he is going <laughs> to be a wispy. Oh. Well, we have, we have I to. only, I'm telling you, I dancing know. on the ceiling, that's it. But we that's all I got. Because Lionel, really Richie, Lionel Richie was a true talent to be reckoned with until he sold his soul to someone in white radio. I wonder how he got there. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> is, is it me? Is this looking, still my looking career? Looking <laughs> oh, was that song after he sucked? Because I liked that oh, one. Yeah. Too. That's when he really started Damn sucking it. hard. I thought that was a gr- I always I enjoyed liked that, that song. That entire it, it, CD. Is, it, it balances on the like, I, like I mean, balance. he tape. He dancing on the fully ceiling. He doesn't go sucky mm. until Dancing in the yeah, Ceiling. I'm, not, I'm done with that one. Oh I don't my care. God, I love that song. I'm dancing but again, on the ceiling. You were seven. So then, for a seven year old, yes, but I just can't get no. from. Brick house and still I, and well, say no, a lot. Well, easy like Sunday morning. All right, yeah. lovely, 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 lovely. But I'm gonna. I love that song. I, I had no idea he was involved. Entire tape, fantastic. Like yeah. I absolutely. But I just. No, I have to tell you though. You know what song I loved? Which I loved. One? I loved. I loved. I loved from that solo album, Running with the Night. Oh yeah. I still. Yeah, that's a good one. If you catch me in the right mood, I will still dance around my house <laughs> right. in my underwear and pretend I'm <laughs> Sheila E. But not on the ceiling. Because Sheila, man, that's where we get Sheila E. That's from. That's true. Sheila E. is the female dancer in that video. Before she could get a job as a drummer. As a drummer. She's that's the right. dancer, and uh, and she was still Sheila Esposito. Oh, Miss Esposito. Fuck you! I am oh. Sheila Esposito, and you're not. Oh. She she <laughs> may <laughs> actually also be the drummer on that record because I think she was she was a pretty she big that would make more she sense. was a pretty but. big session musician at the mm-hmm. time and her dad is some big fucking deal too that's oh. why she Mr. Esposito that's why she doesn't go by him I want to say he's a big session musician and so she went by Sheila E so it wouldn't seem like nepotism right. I could be making that up too I don't think so I think it's you're right it's been so long just, since I've devoted serious she thought to the gl- Sheila the glamorous life she just oh, wanted yeah. to be trendy she, which is always right, going to be now Ak-chin, she was good Akchin and there are shut up it is casino uh-huh. Well, he's oh, casino level. That's let's appropriate. See. His June 8th. Done. Like, I have to be there, I think. What night of the week is He's it? got it's another daughter. And Aaron is going to be like, oh, honey, you go have fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I already sold my soul to the devil with so Barry Manilow be- and with no, Rick but Springfield. See, Barry, Barry Manilow only that's sucked one deal. song. Yeah. Oh no no no! But that's that's yeah. where she's like, no, I can't again. Barry Manilow only sold, really? He only sold yeah, his soul to the devil can't. once. She just can't. And we've all had yeah. to pay for it. Cup of <laughs> yeah. fucking Cabana. Yeah. Why? 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 God? Why? Uh oh! I like that. <laughs> Don't song. fall. Why? Don't fall in, a, in love. In a, ah! <laughs> but who they, shot who? They worked from eight till four. Hey, Work on I, the rhyme longer. Had the Copa, <laughs> Take a couple Copa more minutes Cabana. and come up with a better rhyme. Well, then what would you make that rhyme be? I don't know, but I wouldn't tell you their hours of business. <laughs> <laughs> it would be something far different. It's a dramatic love story. I wanted to know more about what shift she four, worked. I think. How, yeah. do I, how do I fit in her shift work in this? She, well, you got to know when to show up for Lola. He's like to shoot her. I, <laughs> His can name you tell is me Rico. what time she works so I'll know when to shoot her? Which girl is it? Oh, know. it's Lola. She oh, works from 8 to 4. 8 to 4. That's her. Rico? 8 to 4 Lola. Rico's That's the guy her. with the diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Lola. Lola. Oh. Rico. Where's Tony? I didn't even have to see a picture. I know who they are just instinctively by your descriptions. There's she's the one dressed you. like Big Bird. They're so no. Julanta. <laughs> What's our word? It's not Julanta. So humanity. Humanity. Jumanches. Something. Jumanches. It's not. It's not. There's something about a Jewish <laughs> being. I don't know. Oh, now we're back to Barry Manilow. <laughs> see, look at that full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Like hey, it's a full. It, he has a Christmas album. Can people. you Settle feel? Down. Well, every Jew has a Christmas album. Of course yeah. they do. Brilliant. That I really. remember. I yeah. honest to God remember. Brilliant. After crying in the mall, hearing Barbara Streisand sing <laughs> oh. "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas" yeah. for the first time, yeah. sobbing in the mall because I was a very emotional six-year-old who thought everyone was going to die because through the years we might not all be together. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Tiny L. You're like, oh my God, she converted. Somebody can die. <laughs> she no. converted. So I, my mom showed me the album and I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> Isn't she Jewish? <laughs> And I remember my mom just kind of going. That's not kosher. Yeah, but she has a Christmas album, and her just putting it. So down. does Neil Diamond. I remember, I remember so does Manilow. But yeah. Casey Kasem probably has one too. Babs did it first, uh, but just my mother. Bette Midler certainly. She does. was so excited to show me that she owned this album that I was like <laughs> sobbing, walking through the mall as a little kid. She was so excited. Nobody like, knew you were gay. Is it <laughs> and just the look on my mom's face, like, oh, I thought this was gonna be a bonding moment. But never mind. <laughs> That's fantastic. You're you wanna go drink out? You're, you're still an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, we oh, were going to have good. mother-son time until I remembered you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm I'm looking at these um the potential tickets, and I'm going to have to do more work on this. But if, if this is real, it's fantastic that he thinks that he might. First of all, there are lawn seats 
at Akchen? What? Oh, Akchen Pavilion. Yeah. That's the old Desert Sky. Oh, oh. oh. I am on it's board. It's like a then. full on. I've seen like, a couple oh, of I like that. In Compton June? Terrace, right? Com- well, no, Compton Terrace was down south. Yeah. This closer was to like Tucson. Cricket. The, cricket. Oh, this this was Cricket. cricket it, used to be, yeah. it used to be Blockbuster, Blockbuster Desert Pavilion. Sky, yeah. and then it was Cricket, and now it's Akchin. <laughs> yes. Okay. Golly. Very busy. Very busy. There was a lot. Anyway, China it, looks owns like, it. it looks like these. <laughs> <laughs> Another fucking thing China owns. Um, hence, it's called Akchin. Um, $225 for tickets, wow. maybe? What? No, not for grass seats. Uh, no, no, no. I'm saying it goes it up. It comes it with grass. It looks like it goes up to. <laughs> it's a very so mellow gonna, concert. I'm going to look for best available. And just see. Is that the Copa? <laughs> Copa that's Cabana. not Lila Ritchie. That's not Lila Ritchie. Yeah, no, well, we no. did sing his song in the last 10 minutes, and now it's <laughs> that's in my head. <laughs> yeah, but that's head. not it. I've seen him like five times Rico, in concert. Rico, Lola, Have Tony, you? anyone here? No. They work from 8 no. to 4. Mm-hmm. No, exactly. Not their hours. <laughs> she <laughs> works from 8 to 4. We're closed. We're closed. 6.30 to 1.15. Again, review the third verse. <laughs> they work from 6.30 <laughs> to 1.15. We're here from 7 p.m. about 10. Even if you were to say, And then they have side work. So, Oh, shoot me after I roll up the silverware. Yeah, I gotta do some roll ups. <laughs> oh, wow. sweep. If I want to sit in section 102, which is going to be right here from like, the stage, not even right on the stage, it would be $157 a ticket. Well worth it. God bless him. Well worth the talk. Hashtag good for, blessed. Well, good. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag he is hashtag blessed. What if they had used like, you wow. know, instead of eight to four, just said like, you know, they work swing shift, yeah. mid, <laughs> mid shift. Exactly. They work overnights. Just say she did side work. Work in the swing shift and then rolling silverware. Well, now the Commodores she did come out with midnight with uh, night shift. The mid, the Commodores wow. did that. Not Barry Madeline, not Wait. related at all. Working We're, on the no. night no. train. Yeah. <laughs> No, you're you're almost there. Night shift. Night shift is night shift. after working. Night shift is the, the car com- wash. That's what I'm. No, da, 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 wow, da, da, that's da, not even close. That's Rose Royce. That's what I, yes. was in my head. Seventy six. Night Great. shift is the Commodores, but night shift is the Commodores after Lionel Richie singing about all their friends that had just recently died, died. like Marvin Gaye oh. and Jackie Wilson. And Can you sing me a little night shift? You just you actually you, just had you, it. You were starting with oh, it. Oh, I would like that. I transitioned to car wash. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> That and the was very that, Jumanitous of you. <laughs> was. Hey, Jackie, I'm, I'm, I'm Jumenting Jackie right now. Whoa. From that era. Hey, what you doing, doing now? Doing now. Doing now. <laughs> <laughs> you set the uh, Come on, you were just on getting fire. 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 <laughs> <laughs> On the night shift. <laughs> Anyways, we're working at the car wash whoa, 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 whoa. on the night shift. <laughs> but if you remember the movie Car Wash, they That's were working awesome. the night shift there. Actually, in the car wash is open eight to four. Oddly, yeah, uh, <laughs> see, it's <laughs> open eight to four. <laughs> Weird coinky dink. Boss don't mind. Wash. Boss don't mind if you act all crazy or whatever the hell that line is. I don't remember. Oh, that but good if, stuff. sometimes if you act a fool, if you yeah. act a fool, um, okay, well, at the car wash. <laughs> do, 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 uh, whatever. Um, what we have to do now, we have to stop all this jocularity. <laughs> the humanity of it all. Start the humanity. How humanitous of you We have to all. stop all this jocularity and go into this because we've only got 10 minutes left in this goddamn dog and pony show. Oh. And now, thoughtful vulgarity, where we in the studio try to make ourselves slightly less shallow which is not hard to do. We will ask one question of the panel and have them try to answer it while fucked up drunk. Because you know at home how well it goes when an important question comes up 90 minutes after alcohol has been served. Politics? Religion? Why not? You're fucked up. What could possibly go wrong? Who could you offend? You've been warned. Good luck. I mean, kind of, but kind of. (laughs) Kind of. Maybe? Uh, what? What? Al's looking at a book. Horseshit. Damn it. He reads from eight to four. <laughs> <laughs> at the car wash. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll, yeah. I get... At the night shift. On the night shift. Okay. Yes. You go. Um. So there was uh, as far as going from the jocular to the not jocular. The non jocular. Um. <laughs> there was a an article from a nurse that. Uh, a hospice nurse, actually, who had... Not today, Bertha. <laughs> not, not today. today. That's an old Danish. 
Well, not the Danish itself, <laughs> exactly. but you know, don't let that Danish out the window, Bertha. <laughs> not today. Not at the car wash. <laughs> uh, <Jesus. laughs> not jocular, I say. Anyway, there was a uh, fi- there were five things that were listed by this this nurse that uh, she talked about regrets, like basically the five regrets <clears throat> that people typically have, and not being. Uh, let's find some wood. Knock on some wood here. Not being at a place where where we are going to have to. You're not actively regret. dying. We're yet. not well. <laughs> unlike, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> being that we're not hopefully actively dying right now. I always want to get those people off my couch when they tell me they're Seriously? actively dying. Yeah, really? Maybe outside. Because I've paperwork. heard bad things happen. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have How to pull you in? Lawn? Yeah. Can I so, can pick your blanket in, and a pillow? And being able to look at it, rather than being on a deathbed and and me having to look to you people, because of course I won't be the one dying, to be able to say, what do you regret? What kind of things? Because this talked about, um, like I said, there were five different things. One of them was working too much. One of them was not allowing yourself to be happier. Um... And I'll keep looking for this this little article because I didn't anticipate this. But the, uh, what kind of thing can you imagine right now, and how could you change it? Uh-huh. Mm. Katie, you that's hard because I read the article and I oh you did read mm-hmm. that okay and I th- I think it's really hard in the when I don't know for me it's really hard when you're going through you actively going through your life to think about what am I regretting right now? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm not regretting anything necessarily right at this moment. Um, I could imagine, you know, I've, for me, I've been torn in the, um, in being a mom. That's been really hard for me because I've been torn between the idea of wanting to stay at home and be with her every minute and like spend these very, very very it's crazy to me how fleeting these years are of your, of your child being young but also being really torn between like who I am also and I right. yeah. am I don't see myself as a I'm not like a full time stay at home like cookie baking I like to bake cookies but I'm not that mom I'm a wine drinking mom not a but do you know what I mean I just yeah, am like more active like. yeah. yeah mommy likey and I but I can imagine I know that there are so many people that would say I would give anything to be able to stay at home with my kids and I sort of regret the fact that I can't fully embrace that because of just like who I am. Okay. I just like cannot be yeah. sitting at home just raising Palmer. And I don't mean just, that's a wonderful um, wonderful gift that I get to be her mom and I get to be a parent, but I just need more than that. And so I sort of have some like current everyday living regret of I wish, I wonder if at some point while I look back and say, gosh, I wish I would have legitimately, like I took off from working for my, I took off from my job and I was going to be done until she called me back two months later and asked me to come back. And I was like, yes, I'm ready. Yep. I can do it. And I wonder, should I have just stuck to my guns and said, I'm staying home. I'm just doing the parenting gig. Will I regret that later? I don't know. I think about that sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And that's, I think that's, I think that's a legitimate thing that most working moms or moms mm-hmm. that, that, or dads, working or parents. Dads, yeah, yeah working parents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's sure. that's everyone's. And having that though, like that having that balance. freedom, like I have the choice. I could mm-hmm. say I'm not going to work at all. I'm going to stay home with, and I'm so fortunate right, that yeah. I have that right. choice. But I wonder, am I making the wrong? Like Kelly doesn't have that luxury. She mm-hmm. has to work. But if I could, I don't wonder if I'm making the right choice. Sure. So, I but think if about you that. got a different job, would she have the luxury of not working? Oh, I'd have to get a really different job. Sure. Right, no, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, right, could, could right. the roles be reversed? Could yes. you get yourself the kind of job that could let her have that choice? I don't know. And then will she ever, is that a regret that she might be working right. on? That right. she's had to work this hard? Right. Sure. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. The the the, par- the working parent, just the parenting thing in general is is just a big, yeah. so it brings something totally different to your life, and working parent is tough. Sure. Your question. Fine, sir. I, I can't even imagine my mom not having a job. Yeah. Like in that situation, right. I think she would have either murdered my father or forced him to quit his job because she wasn't leaving hers. I yeah. just sent it to you too, the little thing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, I know that there's not a ton of time left, but just so Mr. that you see that. Clayton. Um, I don't think, and I think I'm fortunate in this, I don't, I don't feel that I live with, with regrets. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think that I that I hold that I harbor that. I I I hold grudges forever on a lot of things, but I don't really go back and regret not you know. Some my mom and I've had a discussion. How different would my life have been had I made the decision to move here in January of '88 when she did, and not stayed five more years in Missouri and 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 lived with her parents, and which I would never go back and take that away because I had such a wonderful time with them, because I had just started working at the radio station and all that stuff, and that five years was fun. It was the first time really I was without mom and I was kind of on my own, though I was with her parents and I took care of them. But I don't I don't regret not. I wondered how different my life would be, but I don't regret not. Oh, right, making right, that right, change yeah. um, <clears throat> I, the only thing that I ever I think about in regards to things is uh, and I don't know if this is really a, a regret because I could I guess potentially change it at this point I was wondering about when I die will I have ever will I have done enough mm -hmm. to make a difference mm -hmm. to have made mm. will, to have made any impact of lasting impression sure. aside yes. from oh he was funny or he was this but right. have I will you be yeah you'll be remember I mean I don't think you can not not be remembered like oh. I, there are people out there that I think could not mm -hmm. that are not memorable not memorable but I, I don't I think don't... any of them are sitting in this room no surely I but yeah. I but I think you're saying not just like you're be doing remembered but like what for something. really positive oh. things have you brought to the table like you want to make sure that you're leaving those positive lasting impressions for I the mean, work even, that even you if they're did. shitty lasting impressions as long but as they remember what you did <laughs> lasting is the word we're looking for yes. well I sir, Clayton but I don't yeah, know how anyone could ever not think you're Impressions are lasting Absolutely. is beyond me. Yeah, and impersonations. But the 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 thing is that that was the whole point of the question. Rather than people having to be on their deathbed to I'd look say, back I I and say, oh. "I wish I would have," we right now could look at it and say, "You know what? Mm, this I would like to make kind of a change." And is there something you know? When we look, I wish I'd had the courage to live a, a life. True to myself, not the life others expected of me. But what oh. does that mean? That's so like... Oh, yeah. so many people oh, live yeah. what their but parents uh, have wanted them to I be. I can honestly tell you I did not I go did down that not path. I guess I either. didn't. I definitely... My <laughs> mom wanted me to be a teacher, right. married to a man, yeah. couple kids. Al, go. Yeah. I would go... And this is... I, I, I've always wanted to bring this up as like the Brokeback Mountain kind of question. I had... Um, as far as regret, I had... Uh, my, my only like long term relationship really back in the eighties, early nineties was a was a, just a train fucking wreck of every kind of, you know, true love proportions. Okay. But I kind of um hooked up with, became lovers with his friend, and he and I tried to make it work. And we just never were on the same page at the same time when we were the more compatible of the of the situation. And it kind of like it came up twice to like shit or get off the pot and make this into something and both times we chose not to mm. and that kind of always stayed could with have me been that, like your yeah that, it could have love. been like we like we were it's very tiffany the love that never was mm. yeah could have been unrequited so the sex that really was but the love we like, never we could yeah. we would never go the step further yeah we did it a lot yeah but the chance to like <laughs> do something Which, about it. It is the good. end of hour three. Well, I hope we got good. to everybody on that question. We're good with that. Uh, I feel good with that. Thank all you of for them. joining us. We'll be back again next mm -hmm. Tuesday with more topics and hot topics and things to talk about because that's what we do. We're talk show on Q Talk America. That's what we do. But we will leave you with this parting, warm, comforting thought. We will see, see you, you next Tuesday. Tuesday. You've been listening to the show on Q Talk America.